Woohoo! Green bars, green bars, yes! <laughs> Everything is running, I think. It looks, oh, there we go. Let's start off with a commercial. With a commercial. <laughs> with a commercial. <laughs> with a commercial. Oh, <laughs> echo. Oh, let's fix that. Oh, I see people out there. This is exciting. Hello. <laughs> Airbus and Nope. And Gail. <laughs> How are ya? First broadcast from the new place. Y'all have to let me know if it's really echoey in here because the only thing I have set up in this room is my computer station. So it might be a little bit. I'll work on that. <laughs> hey, Nick, how we doing? Dedicate. Yeah, I saw your your uh, your uh, your water pen there on art. No, looks amazing. Drop frames? No, no drop frames. I'm hardwired in. I should not have any drop frames. Stop that. This is a new experience for me. I've never been hardwired in for a stream. I've always had to do it on Wi-Fi because at the house in Virginia, I could not run wires to the to the computer. Ah, okay. Well, welcome to the to the party here, uh, Erebus. Thanks for coming out. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Wow, I did not. I did not make any notes. Oh no! I mean, I'm going to be functioning without a net beginning of this frame. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember how to do it. I don't know, but it's, it's going to be it's going to be dicey. I may have to cheat some. Look at my, uh, my YouTube description. <laughs> uh, the trials and tribulations of a streamer. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's see. What is it saying? Why is it saying I'm, I have reds? That's green. Okay. You're far no notes. <laughs> You're not good friends. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll see if I can wing it. I don't know. Sometimes I can. Y'all will have to let me know how the experience goes tonight. So make sure in the comments you let me know how things went. Or, you know, in the chat. That's even better because then I can... I can stress over it real time <laughs> since I probably can't fix it. <laughs> Julie fired. Yeah, won't be the first time. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. I didn't even put my. Oh, man. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, I could fix this. Maybe. We'll see. Behind the scenes stuff going on. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Hopefully hopefully I can do this while we're we're actually live. I don't know. Hey NGP, how's it going, man? Good to have you out here tonight. Let's see. Yes. Apply. Yes, apply the template. Yes, I would like to do that so people know where the Discord is. 
<laughs> For those of you who have not already joined our Discord and you'd like to know what the link is, if you refresh your screen, <laughs> it should now show in the comments or in the description. Anyway, it was in there anyway, but I like to have it so that it's like at the very top. So I have this this program. It's really cool if you're you're doing content and you do um, stream elements. Um, there's Mercury stream elements, and it does some really cool things that you can uh, add to your stream, like um, put your Discord in the description automatically and talk about who the last or the most newest person you have and all kind of weird stuff. Um, dynamic banners. It's, it's kind of cool. Or just smiles of old. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's see how this night's going to be going. Oh, man, we're late. It's 931. Welcome, all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me. This is Yuli 1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And we're back online. I, I'm just so excited because I've got news. Well, we're going to, we're going to, I'm just going to say it. 3,101 is what I looked at just a few minutes ago. Subscribers. Holy smokes. I'm losing my voice and we haven't even started. And I don't have a cold this week. So that's, that's a plus. <coughs> so yeah, 3,101 as of like uh, seven o'clock tonight when I looked. That's, that's incredible. I just, that's crazy talk. I never thought that would happen. I not in my wildest dreams. So thank you so much to everybody who comes out, watches my videos, who has subscribed to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, that's okay. Come out and watch anyway. But if you'd like to subscribe, Hey, I am not going to tell you not to go ahead. Even if your mom told you not to go ahead and hit the button anyway. Uh, so tonight let's welcome the newest OG. The newest OG is the beastie. I guess that's the way you say it. B-E-A-S-T-E. -E. Beastie, welcome to the OGs. <laughs> uh, and um, oh, what are we doing tonight? Okay, so tonight we're back on Atlas. Um, speak for yourself, I'm wearing Old Spice. <laughs> uh, yes, swagger, I bet. <laughs> Um, hey, so yeah, so we're in the new digs. Um, I'm yeah, we're still, we're still like living between two places and moving stuff around and all that. So it's going to be hectic for the next few weeks. I'm going to try to get some more videos out. Um, some, uh, some recorded content because there's some things that people have been asking about and I'm going to try to incorporate that into the stream tonight because tonight's stream is going to be about setting up your taming stuff. So there's been a lot of taming things that have been added to Atlas over the last few seasons. And I figure because people keep asking me, well, what does the tame house do? And why is it different than the hatchery? And what is, what is the purpose of the bait station? So we're going to talk about all that. We're going to, because you know, I had my base in the last video setting it up. It's not, it's, it's still, it's a work in progress. Okay. <laughs> Nothing happens when you're not online on single player. So yeah. Um, and I'm trying to stay honest and not do stuff, you know, spawn things in and do all that kind of crazy stuff. So I've been, I, I have done some work. We'll, we'll get there. Um, to me only 20 years older. <laughs> oh, you're 20 years old. You're 20 years younger than dirt. Cool. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, but that's the plan for tonight anyway. So thank you so much for everyone that comes out. Thank you for the chats. It, it, they're always lively. Keep it up. Uh, you know, I try to keep up with what's going on in there. Um, but if I miss your comment, it's not because I'm not paying it. It's not because I'm dissing you or anything. It's just I have trifocals and sometimes I have to turn my head six different ways to, <laughs> to see things. But I do appreciate it. I appreciate people who have uh, have come out and done the super chats and the super thanks. Those uh, y'all are incredible. I, I you know, when I got to the point where I could put that on there, I was like, nobody's ever going to hit this button and they do. And it's just so crazy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So thanks for everyone who's contributed either through that on this channel or through the discord. I have a donation station set up for people to, to donate to the cause. And it gives me the ability to run more servers. And we have 
two arc servers up fixing to get three this is arc evolved i'm 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 gonna say it now i'm i do not believe i'm ever gonna run a server on asa i just don't think that's gonna work because i'm not gonna set up a server that requires people to pay money for a mod that might be on it that they might not be able to play that's just my opinion I, if they things change maybe things maybe i'll eat my words who knows but right now i'm going to support our survival evolved as long as i can even though wildcard decides yeah whatever anyway so there's there's two arc servers fixing to be three we're going to put one up that's not modded so people who have problems with uh getting on modded servers and still want to play with the crew we're going to link it to the modded server so it'll be in the cluster will not run any mods. We'll have the boosted rates that I have on the other servers. So you can play uh, and we're, we're deciding on the map. So if you go to the Discord, link is in the description if you've refreshed your screen. Um, <laughs> and it's in the description in there. It's just buried a little bit. Um, but yeah, go to this Discord, sign up, join the, old, join the old gamers Discord if you haven't already and vote which map you'd like to have. And we'll put put a map out um, and, and you know that way people can play. I uh, also have three Conan servers running. There's uh, Exiled Lands, Unmodded, Sipta Unmodded, and basically they're running vanilla rates pretty much. And then we have uh, Savage Wilds, which is heavily modded and did some boosted rates. So, you know, whatever your pleasure is, if you want to come out and play, come out and play. It doesn't, doesn't cost you anything. If you want to donate, that's all up to you, but just come out and play. I do have people come through the Discord so I can keep track of about how many people are playing so that I know how many slots to have so that we're not, you know, overpaying for servers or keeping people in the queue. So that's all I ask. Um, what are we doing? Oh, you know what? We got to do the night's triple threat and I'm going to have to cheat a little bit and open this up and, and scroll down some because <laughs> I'm old and I forget things. Okay. Let's just start off the night's triple threat with one of our season contributors and players and maybe you've seen some of our videos uh old games old guy um i i can't say enough good things about him he's a great guy to play games with uh he is currently doing things like um what is he doing now he's got fallout videos fallout 2 he's doing grim dawn he plays patrician 3 if you you're into that kind of game Go ahead and check him out. Uh, say hi. Tell him Yuli sent you. You know, if you like his videos, make sure you leave a comment. If you really like his channel, subscribe. It won't hurt you. I promise. Um, and next up, uh, I want to give a shout out to Kiduni. Kiduni is somebody new that I just picked up recently. And uh, he does small land builds and pretty cool ones. And I'm still learning small land. I did one live for small land. And if you really enjoyed it make sure you leave comments because so far <laughs> the first one was like ah people watched it and they're like okay we're, we're good with that but if you like to see more small land let me know and we can do more small land but if you want to see how to build stuff go check out kaduni his links is in the description and uh and see how he does stuff and then uh last up uh, we got <laughs> if you're looking if you like seven days to die and you're, you're kind of waiting on what the new version what is it 21 alpha 21 coming out um <laughs> go check out my buddy Voltralux. he has some very cool uh, you know he he does he's right now he's doing a whole lot of information about what's coming in alpha 21 so if you're looking to find out he's kind of pulling apart all the dev streams and, and putting that information out there so if you're interested go check him out no 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 nick Oh geez, for what? I'm gonna go for all of them. <laughs> Thanks. Hello from Australia. Down new to the channel, a couple weeks in love. Your Atlas kind of well. I thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate you coming out here and and the time different. What it's like afternoon for you, right? It's like eh, one ish or so. But thanks for coming out from on the other side of the world. Uh, but yeah, we'll do, if, if I get enough people that want to see some more small land, I'll do some more small land. I'm, I'm trying to branch out and do some stuff. I've got, I had a, a, a developer reach out to me last week and wants me to play one of his um, zombie survival games. And so I'm going to do, I'll probably do a recorded video on that as I can get a chance to and get that out just to, you know, just to kind of vary things up for everybody. But I love Atlas. I'm going to keep playing Atlas. People say it's 
got its issues and it does but hey i love it so we'll we'll keep doing that um okay so what are we doing we gotta get we gotta get into atlas let's do that let's go to atlas and we need to start our single player game i did change something i changed the uh <laughs> the poop interval <laughs> because uh, i'll show you i'll you'll know you'll see i'm gonna i'm gonna show you we're gonna hit the single player button and hope it works go let me scroll down to make sure I'm seeing the screen again. Yay. All right. We're settled in. It's starting. Let the craziness ensue. I'm on lunch break at work. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in while you're at work. I appreciate everyone watching. It this, like I said, it just it just boggles my mind that that people are enjoying this. It makes me so happy. It really does. Because this is this is what I wanted to do is make people happy. Okay, so here we are at the base, and from the last time, so the death counter, where's the death counter? Oh, it's in the other screen. Okay, death counter is still at 11, which is where we left off. Um, things are, there. okay, so let's talk about the changes. So this is where we left off. We had built the dock. I put a, a tanning station out there because I needed to make some saddles for my, um, <laughs> my growing herd of battle cows. Here's, here's devil in disguise. She's massively over. <laughs> She's like level seven, 173. She's, she can kick some butt. The only problem with, you know, running a battle cow is every time you get ready to get on them, you have to milk them first. Cause they, <laughs> that's just the way it goes. Um, right now everybody's following her so that sh they won't run off because I've been having an overbreeding of chickens in my hatchery. And, um, yeah, I've been setting the males loose on aggressive. <laughs> Just because it's funny. <laughs> but when they go off, then everybody takes off running and that just creates an issue. Okay, so the, the big change. The hatchery was not there. I put that up. We're going to talk about this and the tame house and all that kind of good stuff. Get together. <laughs> okay, so uh, this stuff was pretty much here. I did put up some plants because we're going to start taming tonight. We're going to do it. We're, you know... I'm not following, but so many squirrels, we're going to tame, we're going to tame us an elephant and we need to wheat. And guess what? Since we're on this, this free port ish, like Island, the seed guy had wheat seeds. So I bought some and that's what these came from. So we have wheat. Um, if you remember, we went over to that Island way the heck over there. And that's where we put down, we found ants. And so I did go over there and uh, go to the ant stations that I put up and I, I brought one back. Did you know you could do that? Did you, did you know that chicken army? Yes. The army of evil chickens and cows. Um, yeah. So <coughs> trick for you, if you're playing Atlas, uh, it, it doesn't matter what server you're playing on. If we're, uh, well, unless they have the tame house and storm houses disabled, cause some of them do some of the dedicated servers, they have enough trouble and, and I'm not saying that they, they can't keep up. I'm saying they, they do a heck of a job trying to keep up with all the bumps and, and the road that, uh, the grape shot keeps throwing with their, their hot fixes. Um, but a lot of them have disabled some of the features like the, uh, the tame house or the bait station or the swarm houses, just because it lags some servers out or it causes, causes issues with the mods that they're running. So if you're playing on a dedicated server and you try to do this and it doesn't work, um, check with the mod, you know, check on, check in chat is the easiest way to do it. You know, hit, hit enter and, um, your chat will come up or it should actually my chat doesn't come up cause I'm playing single player and there's nobody to chat with. Um, <laughs> but yeah, ask them is something disabled and they'll tell you, and then it'll save you some frustration. But we put up swarm houses over in that Island there and we had some ants or at least one, I think one. Anyway, you can move them. Ants will follow you. If you ants, snakes, bats, all those things will follow you and you can put them on your boat and you can bring them back to your base and make it one. And then you have it at your base and you don't have to go all the way over there to get their stuff. Huh? <laughs> yeah. How's that? Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> it's the brown coats. Yeah. What, what, what shows that from? Huh? Who knows? Tick tock. You want funny death dodos and arc. Oh, I've done the death dodos and arc. They're fun that, you know, 
I, I, I'm bad. So I have, I have done two things in art that I, I well, I'm not ashamed of. Ah, it's Firefly. Exactly. Um, but you know, when I had things in arc that I wanted to know if they got broke, I would put a Dodo on passive inside of there and enough. And I named the Dodo, whatever that thing was. And then if that Dodo suddenly came across the screen as dying, I know that something was attacking my base. <sighs> so that's my Dodo alarm. Um, and then the other thing, what else did I do in, in, Oh, maybe I'll do this. I haven't, I have never done a, a video on it, but I made, a Pegomax dispenser. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so it's basically a building that's full of Pegomaxes that they have to, you know, kind of wiggle to get in there. And, um, and if something attacks near your base and <laughs> they're all on aggressive or neutral, not aggressive, neutral, and they all come swarming out and attack with it. It's hilarious. But <laughs> if there's a desire to see me build, the Pegomax dispenser from Arc on uh, on a uh, on our <laughs> an edited video. Let me know, and I could do that because it was fun. It's funny to watch. It's hilarious. I put Pegomaxes and and uh, Morphodons in there so that there's like air support for the Pegomaxes. It's 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 comical. If anybody's seen it, uh, some of the people that are in here have played on the servers where I've had it, and yet yeah, it, it never fails to amuse. Anyway, let's get back. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Okay, so here's the swarm house that I built at my base. And what I did was I had that lilan over there had an ant in it in the swarm house. So I took it out, and it was a tame ant. And I said, come to me, tame ant. And we got in my boat, not again, again. And we sailed back over here. And then I put him in here. See? Let's see. View tame information. There he is. Level 68 ant. Now, I have heard... and. Somebody nope might know. Um, I know he's played a lot of Atlas. I heard that the ants have sexes this year, and you could actually get a male and a female ant. All of the female ants are supposed to be very rare, and put them both in here because you can turn breeding on in this. See toggle mating, and make baby ants. I don't know if that's real or not. I, the wiki says they're not breedable, but you know the wiki's been wrong before. Anyway, so you put your ant in here. And you don't have to put anything in here. I just been sticking it in here because you know it, 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 it's just some place to put things. <laughs> and I filled up my food trough over there. But uh, if you put the ant in the swarm house, it will make toxic flora. And the toxic flora is what you need in the bait station to make the animal go to sleep. And it works just like fuel. You put it in there, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna tame an elephant tonight. That's what we're gonna do. Um, so we're going to use that. We're going to use the bait station and we're going to, to tame an elephant, but this is what happens. So, you know, you can pull your ant out. If you, if you capture one in a bait station, no clue, been focused on dino zombies. <laughs> and no ants got free. Yeah. Uh, nope's on our arc servers. He's, he's breeding up an army of undersea creatures that is going to be a terror of the deep. Um, so you can also unload your tames off of here. So if you, if you go near, a swarm house and you have an ant chasing you or a rattlesnake or a bat or a bee. Yeah. I think there's the four. It might be one more. Is it a uh, bat, bat snake, not the cobras doesn't work for the cobras, um, but the rattlesnake, the bat, the ant and the bee, you get them to chase you and you run over near your, your, your um, swarm house and it'll suck them up in there. You sound like me, somewhat. I played with friends on Ark and Xbox. I would troll them by dropping copies in their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fun times. Drop a Titan boy in there. That's always fun. Um, but yeah, so you you walk near your base, you walk near your swarm house, and the 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 uh, a, a aggressive critter will follow you, and when it gets close enough, it'll suck it up in there. Now there's a there's a cooldown of like, I'm guessing somewhere between. 20 and 30 seconds between before it'll get another one. So if you have a swarm of them chasing, you might have to, you know, like run around it a few times to suck them all up in there and it'll only hold 10 things. So once it hits 10, it won't get any more, but this is a great way for you to get passively generated honey. 
Because if you get bees in there, it'll passively generate the honey. If you get ants in here, like this guy right here, it will generate the toxic flora. If you get snakes in there, it will give you the venom. And if you put bats in there, I think it gives you the toxic sludge or whatever it is. Um, something like that. Either that or it's it's the other fertilizer. So, so yeah. So it's worth having one of these in your base. And like I said, you don't have to. Hey, Penny, how's it going? You don't have to. Um, hey, Carl, <laughs> you made it. Um, you don't have to just go back to the islands where you have these things set up and hope that there's been stuff made. In fact, I think Penny was the one that said last week that they fixed it so these things don't generate the toxic flora anymore unless you're near them. Um, they still, the honey still works, but the, the and I've, I've seen it myself, is that the honey doesn't, I mean, the, the toxic flora really doesn't generate unless you're there. But anyway, you can pop them out. You can put them back in there. See, we'll just go ahead and say, go back into the swarm house and make me some more toxic flora. Okay, so that's 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 what this thing is here for. And you get this at tier two. So when you get up to tier two taming, you will have access to make these. And they're cheap. They're not, they're not expensive at all. Um, so I encourage you, try it out. You will you will thank me. Um the 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 sludge and the venom. Um, I don't, I don't really see that much of a use for, maybe that's just cause I've got limited, um, experience with it as I just haven't done it. The, the toxic, or the, the, yeah, the venom, if you put it in the, the bait trap, so the let's, let's start all over again. Use your words, Julie, slow down. So the toxic flora, if you put it in the bait station, which we're going to use to get the elephant, it will make the animal go to sleep. If you have their favorite food in there. If you use the, the, uh, I don't want to keep wanting to call it toxic venom. If you use the venom, Hey, Sarloth, how we doing? Having a great frame so far. Yes, sir. It's been good. Awesome. Um, yeah. So if you use the venom, it actually makes the animal bleed more. So it does damage to them if they're around the bait station, which I guess would be great if you're trying to tame the old fashioned way and using bolas. Um, if you don't have the favorite food, maybe that's a good way to, to kind of bleed them down and, and, and bowl them. But I prefer to just go find the favorite food because that's a whole lot better. Yeah, toxic floor is the best. Uh, the sludge makes them slow down. Again, I, I just I, the, the, the floor just is so much better. So that's what we're going to use tonight. All right, so that's piece one of the taming. All right, so this is what we're going to do to go get a tame. These guys are all passive, right? So I got I got the devil in disguise here. And um Bessie, we remember Bessie. Bessie was the first cow I got. And then we have Nacho Libre, who's also over here, who's, a, who's an awesome fighter. Um, but like I said, you just gotta milk them every time. <laughs> Try to ride them. Or else they don't work. I don't think she's getting levels. Okay, so uh and then the monkeys. Um, it just so happens this island has limes right down there on that point and monkey's favorite food is limes. Go figure. So I have a few monkeys and I actually bred the monkeys. I have, um, where's Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou is my first, um, baby monkey that I was able to, 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 uh, actually, <laughs> that was the second attempt. <laughs> the first attempt. I wasn't paying attention. I was and the first baby didn't make it, but Cindy Lou did. And I'm so thankful that she's here. Okay, so we have four monkeys. We have these three, and then there's another one over here somewhere. Yeah, there's Pickles. Say hello, Pickles. There you go. Good. All right, so we have Pickles, and that's that's the extent of it, because these are all passives. If I wanted to tame a bull, I would have to have rushes, because I tried fronds, and they don't work. Uh, an alpha seagull. Mm. He won't attack me unless I attack him, but if I attack him, then I'm screwed. Okay, so... So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go after an elephant and I want to get a good elephant. So, and then we're going to talk about the tame houses and the hatchery once we get the elephant, but, uh, we're going to want some, we're going to want some, uh, this here wheat. I'm going to grab some of this cause this is good. The beans you should get, if you're, if you're playing, you should always plant beans because beans will give you yellow and pink every time you eat them. So 
See how they're both going up? You can get both vitamins with one um, item. So when you're eating and it's, you know, making you go to sleep, <laughs> you should be okay. Get a set of three monkeys and name them. <laughs> Uh, and name them C speak here, no evil or a uh, really high level <laughs> name it monkey shine. <laughs> yeah. Beans will give you gas. Um, but you're, you're always pooping in this game anyway. So, eh. okay. So, um, do we have our wheat? Do we, do we have wheat? Okay. We got a lot of wheat. That should do. That should be plenty of wheat. Um, let's see. What else do I need? Um, hmm. Oh, oh, duh. I need my bait station. Right? So I made one. It's in here. Where is it at? <laughs> uh, bait station. If I have to make another one, I will. Cause they're not, they're not expensive. They're really not. Look at all the maps I've gotten. I'm going to, I'm going to be like a beast when I go in a map mode. These, all these maps are in exact same space. That's on that island that I have the trap on. But I went over there when I went to go get the ant, and there was an alpha lion that was, yeah, right there and wouldn't let me get over there. So I wasn't able to really get much other than the ant, and then I had to run really fast. Where's the bait station? I know I have one. All right, we're going to have to just make another one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, Yep, so we're going to put this over here. And then we're going to, let's grab a little bit more wheat, just, just so we have it because I got lots. All right, so there's wheat. I'm going to say paste that. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, I need the, the toxic floor. You don't need a lot of the toxic floor because it's, it's like, a, it's like a, 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 a stick, you know, wood, a stack of wood, not a stick of wood, a stack of wood, because it works that way. And it's like fuel. So you use like one, maybe two, if it's, if you have it down for a while, let me, let me tank up here. Cause I'm running out of vitamins. Uh, I'm going to make myself go to sleep. If I eat too much of this, I got lots of elderberries. Let's eat those. That's probably going to make me sleepy, but eh, eat some of these. I'm going to get sleepy. Let's see if I get a gut. Oh, no gut yet. All right. Set. Okay. So I have, I have everything, right? I have wheat, which is an elephant's favorite food. I have toxic flora to make him go to sleep. And I have the bait station. Let's go find us an elephant. I want a good one. I saw an 88 around here this afternoon when I was doing stuff and I was hoping he'd still be around the base, but you know, when you're playing single player and you restart your game, it, it resets. There it is. I over eight. I don't get sleepy. It resets everything and puts all the stuff all over different places, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I, you know, if you're playing single player, if you want to try single player, I would say that it is better this season than it has been in past seasons. Uh, as far as stability goes when you're playing, but there's some jacked up stuff on it that you might as well know about. So things that I've found and things that other people have told me that they've run into is, Oh, alpha parrot. Oh, wow. Lots of alphas out tonight. Um, let's grab this. Uh, get full, take a uh, pick and just start swinging. <laughs> Use up some of the energy. Good idea, Penny. Nice tip. Um, so single player, if you're playing single player, um, I would do this. Let's go here. So here's your, if I hit, I am, you know, I'm, I'm an inventory. I person, not an inventory tab person. So don't hate me. Um, anyway, if you go to your inventory screen and you go over to Atlas, so you have these things over here that turn things on and off. If you're going to play single player, these are my suggestions. Don't play modded single player because the mods and um, the game 
are going to give you issues. I, I just, it's just going to happen. It might not happen right away, but it's going to happen. And if you want to play modded Atlas, my suggestion would be go to people like Indecent Queens or Radioactive, um, or um, go to the, you put in dedicated or unofficial mod servers in your search button on Dr. Google. It'll give you a website that gives you a list of a bunch of different servers that you can go play on. And a lot of them are modded and some are PVE, some are PVP, all kinds of different play styles, all kinds of different size grids. You can check it out. But that's what, that's what I would tell you if you're going to, if you want to play modded Atlas, because it's, it's, I've tried it. I tried it last season. It just completely wrecked my game over and over again. And people are having the same issue this time. So let's say we're going to play vanilla. We're going to maybe tweak some of the settings. I've got some suggested settings in one of my videos about settings, single player settings. I'll leave it a link maybe, you know, in the top of the screen, if I remember, if not in the description, uh, later, but <clears throat> when you're playing single player in season 12, some things you're going to want to do is, and, and this goes for oceans and Blackwood, especially for Blackwood, go to this screen here in oceans, start off with oceans. Go to this screen here and go to this, this button right there to toggle ships. You know, you can see that, right? There's the ships that came in, turn it off. Okay. Blackwood does not work well. If that, that's turned on, it just, it crashes a lot. So, so just do that. If also, if you're, if you're playing single player, turn this toggle, follow character off. And now, my problem is every time I start a game, it turns back on and you'll see, you'll notice a little thing goes back on, but turn those two things off. The other thing I would suggest you do is turn the AI pirates off and we'll, we'll talk as I go through this process. And if y'all want me to put them on later, I can do that. The problem is the AI pirates are glitched and they build into the mesh and it's not even worth trying to blast them out of wherever they're at. Cause you won't be able to do it. You might be able to do it every once in a while, but a lot of the bases they're inside the mesh. You can't get to them. So you can never claim the Island. So it's just not worth it. I mean, if you want to try, you want to add some spice to your game, go ahead and do it. I'm just saying it's going to be glitchy and you're probably not going to be able to, uh, to, uh, take over every Island just because there's going to be some islands where you can't get to the people cause they're under the map. Um, so those two things do that. If you're going to play single player. Um, and then the game should work for you. Now, the thing that I can't do for some reason, and not every person is having this problem, but I cannot use a spyglass. If I use a spyglass, it automatically gives me a fatal error and it crashes me to desktop. So those are things to look out for. If you're playing single player, unclick those two things. So you don't have issues, especially if you're going to play Blackwood or whatever it's called, go to oceans, turn them off, go to Blackwood and they should stay off. And you shouldn't have any problems, but I can't even, I, I, I don't even run them in here because it, it creates issues where I'll, I'll crash. And then, like I said, the other thing is I can't use my spyglass, but that's okay. I, I don't really care about the spyglass and I don't really care about turning the, the pirates off so that I can't see where the bad guys are because you know, it's kind of a challenge. I swear I am looking for elephants while I'm talking. I promise. Ah, eh, level 12. The good thing about elephant hunting is you can walk right up to them and see what level they are before you try to mess with them. Unlike things like tigers, <laughs> you just kind of had to go with that one. Um, I don't see any down here. Usually there's someone at this point. Just don't make the elephant mad because remember an elephant never forgets pretty much. Elephants have a heck of an aggro. They just keep coming. But when we do it this way, he's not going to make, it's not going to make him mad. He's just going to go take a nap. He's going to wake up. I do have the taming set at 4X. Plus I have single player turned on, on the, in the settings, just because, you know, y'all don't want to watch me try to feed an elephant for three hours. Um, <laughs> hard enough trying to find one. They were all over the place. Hey, don't you, you know, this Atlas in this game worked the exact same way. We might as well grab the bottles. 
Um, animals come in waves. So like you have nothing at your base. And then the next thing you know, you're like overrun with elephants or rhinosauruses or whatever happens to be on the game you're playing. Um, there's an elephant. I see. wonder what level he's going to be. Let me grab these bottles on the way. Blink. There's a lot of sandbars over here. Give me that one. I'm not really looking at the, the treasure maps yet. I'm just sticking them in a box because when, uh, when I get me a bear, I'm going treasure hunting. And so far I have not gotten a bear yet because there's no bears on this island, nor is there any honey. I didn't see any bees on the other island either. So if we tame us an elephant and we get our tame house and stuff set up, we may try going over to that island. Is that the island? There's one over there. There it is. You can barely see it in the fog and see what that island's about. Cause I haven't been over there yet. Why? Oh, I'm, oh no. <laughs> Lost my stamina. Don't, no, not in the water. Ah, I'm going to drown. I'm an idiot. I just want to get to the shore. Please, please, sir. Don't go under. Don't go under. Don't pass out. You can do it. Come on, Yules, you can do it. I had spyglasses as well. Oddly, it worked fine in the previous tile, but as soon as I moved to another tile, another one, and tried it, it checked. It checked some money. Maybe I'll try it when I get, you know, go to a different um, server and see what happens. Maybe that'll clear it up. I gotta get my stamina back. I guess I can walk. That'll get into it. Um, yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. That's my luck. Um, yeah, if you've if you've ever um, looked at renting, I mean, hosting servers on Atlas, uh, it's why I don't do it. It was two reasons why I don't do Atlas servers. I do Arc and I do Conan, and we've done some other things like um, uh, Imperion. Oh, he's level eight. Eh. Um. But I tend to host games that um, <laughs> I can do a, 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 a game. With Atlas, every server is, every grid is a new server. So like if I host, if I play, if I host a uh, art map, I have, I host Ragnarok and I said how many people go on there, that many people go on there, they can play the whole map, everything's cool. If I host Atlas to have th just three grids to go across, I have to get three separate servers with the same amount of people that can go across. But you know, I'm, I'm on a pension. I'm not really set up to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Me, enough me groaning. So that's one reason I don't host Atlas servers. The other reason is because, uh, like, I was mentioned earlier, if you want to run modded stuff on Atlas, you really need to be like a tech whiz, which I am not. Um, but people that run things like the indecent Queens, they've got a great mod group that, um, moderator group that keeps track of all that stuff. And they do a great job of keeping it running. Even when Atlas is crashed. Uh, and same thing with radioactive, uh, Remy, uh, Revy, I think is the guy that runs that. And or a lot of, a lot of his mods are on there. And, and he knows what to do, but I do not. And so I would have to have an unmodded server and that would be, that would be tragic. I like to run modded stuff. And then that's what one of the frustrate. Oh, what do we got here? What are you 16? It's gotta be a bigger elephant than that. I know I saw 88. Let me see if it's down here. Um, that's one of the frustrations I have about one of the many frustrations I have about uh, the new arc because they're going to be using a software warehousing mod. I don't know what you call it. Um, Overwolf that if you've heard anything about Overwolf though, on servers that actually use it, which they're not a whole heck of a lot, but it seems like Minecraft is probably the biggest. It's, it's a bloaty piece of software that, that has severe issues with messing with your ability to run, run your computer. Um, so yeah, you'd have to, everybody who plays on there would have to have that on, which I don't want to have 
people to have to do. And then, oh, you, what are you? Four, really? Come on, just gotta, see there's the lime trees, lots of limes. Um, I'm gonna run out of stamina again, looking for freaking elephants. Good thing there's no bad stuff on this island. Something's up there. Oh, by the way, I can't get up there. I tried. See the, the eye socket on the skull? All right, if you go straight to the right, you can see there's a ledge there. There's something up there. I can't get up there yet, but that's going to be a goal at some point of figuring out what the heck it is up there. If anybody knows, if you ever been up there, let me know what it is, or whether it's worth trying to get to or not. But there's some sort of feature up there. I can see the fire blazing. I just don't know what it is. And it's not somebody else on the map because this is single player and it's just me. That's all right. Come on. I'm not even getting maps anymore. I just want to find an elephant. We may have to tame a low level. That would suck. As soon as I tame a low level, I'll find one that's like 150. Could be because I've got the, um, the stuff turned up on here the levels because uh you know i want to make it i want to make it difficult i want to make it too easy hello mr bull dang go on i can't find an elephant for no oh there's one there's one all right be a good one come on be a good one all right what we got not gonna tell me 44, 44 will do. Okay, are you a male or a female? You are a male elephant at 44. Okay, that'll work. All right, so here's what here's the way this works now. Uh, I thought that was a bear for a second. What is that? All right, we know where this guy's at. Let's go see him like the dog that drops the snake into the water because he wants both. Yeah, that's an old wives tale. I mean, fairy tale or, or whatever. Fable, a lesson that you could learn about being greedy. And I'm not good at it so we'll grab this map because it's here what are you what are you come on be better than a 44 or be a female 44 that'd be cool a level eight female all right we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna try to get both of these guys i think we i think we got plenty of stuff we'll grab the, the big big dude first and then see then we can go back and we'll set up a tame house <laughs> I'm thinking, see, I'm trying to, I'm planning ahead. It's really not distracting it's, or, or whatever. Um, okay. So here we go. We're going to, there's the bait station. So I'm going to place the bait station. I just like to hit E and not put it in my, you can put it in your hot bar if you want to. We just want to put it somewhere near where he's walking around. As long as you can get it blue, you're good. All right. So we put it down. Then we're going to put our toxic flora into the toxic compound place. And then we're going to put some wheat in there because that's what he likes to eat. And we're going to put wheat in our zero slot. And then we're going to open the barrel. And he's going to come over here and he's going to go to sleep. While we're doing that, uh, see, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Don't let the trees psych you out. You can do it. Come on over here. What are you doing, dude? Come over here. Don't make me a liar. Come on. Come on. What is he not going to what? What's going on? Is this not working on single player? What is this guy doing? Seriously? I don't want a 64 turtle. <laughs> uh, all right, fine. Here, have some wheat, Mr. Turtle. I don't need you here. Uh, really come back over here elephant you're supposed to like wheat well we know that it works because the turtle ate some there's he's eating some more um while we're waiting let's go ahead and set the bait proficiency to let's go to six food maybe maybe he just like to have bigger bites maybe that's a problem come here come here i'm gonna have a turtle i'm so happy i don't think i've ever turned to Came to turtle. <laughs> Turn uh, come on. Come on over here. Here you go. Come on over here. Have some. Come on. 
or something. Come on. He's not doing it. What the heck? Wait a minute. What's going on? He doesn't even have... Am I, like, disconnected or something? What is going on? This guy is not... Oh, there it is. It comes up as... To tame, use bowl and trap, then feed. No, we don't want to do that. We want you to go over here and eat the, the nice little treats I have for you. Has it changed what the elephant wants for his favorite food? Can't be. It's always been wheat. Uh, see, this is why I can't, you know, I don't want to play the <laughs> server on wild card. Because if they just change this on the... On the, uh, they did a hot fix the other day and it crashed my server. Every time I tried to get on official, I couldn't, it would give me a fatal error. I haven't been back on. They change it? Seriously. No. Uh, what is he doing? Is he eating? Come on, eat. Eat. <laughs> this is going to be a short video. The only thing I can tame is turtles. Seriously, what is going on? I, I'm going to have to look this up. Yeah, I, I just tamed some elephants on official a while, just like a couple weeks ago. He is not taking the bait. That is for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm afraid to go back on there after it crashed because I lost I lost most of my stuff last season because of that stupid tame house thing. Well, we have a turtle. That's how it works. They eat, you feed them more while they're sleeping, and then then it works. But why is he not why is he not going to sleep? Uh, okay. Well, so you understand you understand the process. The process works. You can only have a single animal at a time on the barrel. Uh, I've tamed like four. Oh, he's eating it now. Go ahead. Go to sleep. So they've changed that because I've tamed like three bears at the same time. And season 11. Okay. Well, he's asleep and he's going to eat. Yay. <laughs> Finally. Need pizza for the turtle and peanuts for the elephant. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it works. So you put the toxic floor in there, you set it to feed, and then you just feed them. And then they don't knock you over all over the place and they don't attack you and they just eat. And this works for all animals um, that you can set a base station. So it will not work as far as I know. Um, and we'll try it on single player, but when I get to one, but on official, you cannot put this down on the golden Isles. You can't build there. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, you can't do the golden Isle things with, with this, unless you're on a, uh, modded server. And like I said, I don't know if it'll work on single. We're going to try it on single player. And then, um, and you can't do it with water animals because you really can't place this underwater so far that I've seen. Now, I haven't really tried to tame a lot of underwater animals with it, but it doesn't seem to want to place in the water. So, but for land animals, all of it. And I have... You're building a ship. Hey! <laughs> how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Um, oh, it's one at a time now. They've changed that. That's what... See, that's... Uh, yeah. Anyway... Yeah, thank you, Grape Shot, because that's always helpful when you do stuff like that. Um, but the land animals you can do, you need to have their favorite food. And I have a list in my Discord pinned at the top of the Atlas channel. If you go in there, hit the little pin, push button pin, and it has a list of all the favorite foods for all the animals based on the wiki and my experience. The wiki's not always right. Um. It says that tigers will only tame up with marrow and I have tamed them up with prime meat in here. Um, lions will not tame unless you have marrow. They will not eat prime meat out of this. 
you're only gonna die. Are you kidding? <laughs> and the good thing is you're gonna get pretty much 100% efficiency off of this, especially if you have your efficiencies leveled up like I do. Um, you're gonna get 99 or 100% efficiency when you're taming like this. So if you want a high-level elephant, pretty easy. There you go. 65. Not bad. All right, let's um and the good this is the other good thing. Just saying. Where's where'd the other one go? Did she get away? Oh, darn. Okay. The other cool thing about this is when you're done with it, just take your stuff out. Take your flora out. You can close the barrel or not, it really doesn't matter. And then instead of demolishing it, you can just pick it up. No, I did not bring a saddle. <laughs> That would have been pre-planning, Penny. You know me. You've watched enough of my videos. I'm not good, good at that. All right, there's, elef there's that elephant. She's way the heck down there. Let's go back over this way. Come on. Come on, guys. This turtle's going to... Yeah, you're going to be a wild turtle. I wonder if I can ride him in the water. Does he... Can I ride him without a saddle? Let's see. Let's see. Never had a turtle before. Come here. You move closer to ride. I guess he has to have a saddle. Come here. Come on, turtle. Let's see what happens. This ought to be awesome. Ah, I can. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, this is, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> all right. Well, you, you're, I hope you do all right there, turtle. We're, we're moving on. I'll come back and find you. As for issues playing the game, mine isn't related to the few mods I'm using. It's the game lagging badly off and on, which I think is a comp issue, specifically a new memory usage issue. Um, are you running off a of SSD card, Erebus, or a me mechanical hard drive? Nothing I tame is following me. Come here, guys. Seriously. I mean, I know elephants are not incredibly fast either, but where'd the elephant go? Come on. Inbuilt from my desktop. All my info is three years out of date. The, the stuff that I've got posted is, I, like I said, I've been, I've tested most of it, uh, and it, and it's accurate. So I can't remember. I have to go back and look. I think I fixed the bull. It, the, it listed the bull as Franz, which works on the cows. It does not work on the bulls. Wolves want rushes now. Um, okay. There's the elephant. Chinese squirrel. All right. Let's see. I want to find a high level female. And then we're going to go back and build our tame house. And I'll tell you the difference. We're going to try to do... I hope I got enough materials. We're going to try to build a tame house and a, and a barn. And we'll talk about the difference between the two. And I've already got the hatchery up. So we can talk about all three. We can get back to base. Which if I need a saddle for my elephant, that'll be faster. You know what? If the turtle would come on, I bet the turtle swims faster than it walks. How many manas are in here? Let's see. None. Come on, elef elephant. We're going across the river. Catch this guy. <laughs> yeah, I have a problem with squirrels. Shiny packy or so or a monkey. So it was a shiny Akasu or Malka? Outdated? Uh, I'm, I don't know. That's. That is a. I don't think you'll attack me. I know four. <laughs> Alpha bull. No. No, we're not trying that. I thought I saw an elephant over here. Didn't I? Did they all see an elephant over here? Um, I'll find that turtle sooner or later when I go back, but not, not now.
I know I saw an elephant over here. Mine is a 947. Uh, Horton. <laughs> Navarro Horton. Oh, there he is. There she Hopefully it's a she. Come on. Be a she. Be a she. Come on. Okay, we got it. Is this a she? <gasps> female 32 okay awesome here we go we're gonna do this again we're gonna have a pair of elephants put that right there where are you at sweetheart there you go and do this put this in here wow but come on uh put that right here that's that's probably all i need we got toxic flora in there we're going to open the barrel. We're going to go ahead and bump up the efficiency while we're waiting. All right. You, you come here. You come over here. You're scaring the ladies. You stay there. Stop. All right. She's getting all wound up. She's, she's, she's rocking fast. She's coming over here. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Over here. Over here. Yoo -hoo. Usually when they start walking fast and like, you know, prancing, then they're kind of going to come over to your trap. Oh, come on. Knock the trees over. You want these tasty pieces of wheat? Come on. Come on. Here she comes. Here she comes. Come on. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Come here. Have some. Have some. There you go. Let's see if we squirrel or Pokemon. Apparently, is a little squirrel. Ah, okay. Um, eat. So, if uh, who was it was talking about having issues with lag? If you're and I, I lost it in the chat. Did you say whether you had? I think you said you had like whatever's on board of your computer. If you have um, if you have an SSD card. It helps with Atlas and Arc and some of these other games that are very um, intensive on the memory um, because it just it just feeds the memory faster. Um, you can bump up your RAM if you can do that. It's usually I don't know the the SSD cards have been going down in price, um, but between that and your RAM, that's a whole lot cheaper than trying to bump up and and level of your video card because they're still outrageously expensive they're not as bad as they were now that crypto is kind of mining crypto is not as as uh profitable but yeah if you're going to upgrade your computer i would go with ram and in a and an ssd card if you don't have that <clears throat> and that should help you with the lag on single player now if you're on a, a dedicated or a I mean, an unofficial or official server, it really depends on how many people are in the grid, how much lag you might experience. That's one of the problems I'm having with official. In C2, where my base is, um, I'm rubber banding all the time. And Penny's in C3. Is that the base that went away, Penny, or is it the one up in um, B2? Uh, but, yeah, it, it got really crazy up there. And, I, I mean, I'm still there, but I think I'm going to, if, if my base hadn't disappeared because of the latest crash, um, I'll probably move if I get back in there and play official to a different place. Cause I, the, there we go. Two elephants. Um, so I'm going to need names for these two elephants. Uh, while well, the time I get back over to the base, so we'll, we'll field names. Um, let's see, let's get in here. Take this out. Let's take that out. Close up my barrel just to be neat and tidy and pick up my bait station. Voila! Two elephants and a turtle somewhere. I don't know where the turtle went. He's over there somewhere probably still. Okay, let's take the, the elephants back to base and we're going to put up, we're going to put up our stuff. Ta-da! <clears throat> Ta-da! 
I have upgraded this desktop over time. This is a 2080 video card, by the way. Um, <clears throat> but I have 64 gigs of RAM running that I've just added to over the years since I bought this. And so that helps me a lot. And I've got SSD cards that I run everything on. Is that a snake over there? What the heck was that? Oh, this is a bird artifacting or something. Um, yeah, because I haven't seen these snakes on the side. Oh, look, there's another elephant. <sighs> okay, that doesn't matter. We've got we got a pair of elephants. Oh, that's an alpha. I see the yellow glow. I'm not scared of no manas now because I have bodyguards. Yellow and flat flying squirrel. Yep. Oh look, there's another turtle I got, Dame. There's my farmhouse. So I have done while I, while I was um, setting up the the base here. I've got I've got a, a whatever you call it rock quarry down there. I have a farmhouse here work for peanuts exactly uh i've got a metal mine over behind these this little thing over on that beach over there and somewhere over in that area on the other side of that mountain is a lumber yard so i have all of the, the harvesting machines up and running and they do run they will burn wood all of them are burning wood so i did not need to have oil to burn to run any of them on single player i understand that some of them are requiring that on official now. But yeah, so that, that helps me out with coming up with all the resources to build this stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna build we're gonna build a tame house now. For these oh no, oh no. Come back over here. Yeah, around the rock. We're over here. There you go. Come this way, this way. We're just going to have y'all stand out here because you're large. It's not a, it's not a cut. It's not, you know, I'm not trying to say anything about your physical appearance. It's just that you are elephants and elephants are large. And so you are taking up space in my base area. If you don't stand here. So this is where you're going to stand right there. All right. So they're standing there. All right. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to put up a taming house and we're going to put up a barn. I think we'll at least put the taming house up. I think I got enough stuff for that. Let's see. Cows running around. Oh no, I don't have enough. What do we need? I need hide and I need wood. I got plenty. I know I have plenty of wood down here. Let's go get some wood. Where's devil in disguise. She can carry a lot of stuff too, but I gotta, gotta stop and Take care of this problem. Okay. Let's tell everybody to stop. Mm, stop all. There we go. All right, come on. Yeehaw! We're going to get us some, some hide. How, how big is this bull? 32 bull. <laughs> it's like I'm a bucket. Yeah! Go. Yeah! There we go. See? Just get her. Get him. Get him. Get him! Get him! Battle cow! There goes another battle cow! <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's hide. <laughs> Grand is also full well. The food. Oh, yeah. They're going to need. Well, they're over here now. I've got food in the trough over there, so they'll, they'll be good. All right. Let's go go over here. Don't know the bull. Nope. If I had some rushes, I'd tame a bull because that would probably, you know, it's not that they're better fighters because the cows fight good and they can hold a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I bet you we can carry all this stuff. Let's see. I can't carry it. I wonder if she can't. 
I might not be able to ride her, but let's do it. Uh, put that on there, that on there, that on there, that on there. How's her weight? Yep. Okay. Can I ride her? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to have a bull for your battle amount, you got to make sure you have a bucket in your inventory because you're going to need it. They, yeah, they actually, they harvest here. Let's, let's do this. Um, they, they ha harvest a lot of berries and fruits more than anything else. Uh, do you say you have to rush? <laughs> rush as rush as all right. You come back over here. We're good. You, you, thank you for saving my life. All right. So we got plenty of wood and all four fuck it away. And that do I have enough? I have enough. Ba, ba, ba. Now, if I was if I was doing this the way I would like to do it, I would put this on a foundation and stuff. But I'm not going to do that because that's just going to be more work for y'all to sit there and be bored with. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this sucker over here next to the hatchery. Okay, so these are the two things for breeding currently in atlas and they are freaking awesome right there okay so you have hatchery hatchery is exactly what it you would think it, it you use this to hatch animals out that are egg layers so if i could get my turtle over here and had two turtles i could put in here i could have baby turtles and they would hatch in here i have And this is why I have it. I went ahead and set this thing up is I have lots of chickens in here. <laughs> and the reason I have lots and lots of chickens in here, I think I have 10 females and six males is they make eggs. Now they will also make babies. See, there's chickens and chicken and chicken and chicken and chicken, 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 lots of chickens. Okay, so they will they were breed and it doesn't matter where you are on the planet, you have a hatchery, you can put an egg laying critter in there and it will breed if you turn mating mating on. Right? Um it will have to have food, so it has to be fed. So you put food over here and it will make baby animals. Cool, huh? Now, the reason I have a lot of chickens is not because I want to breed chickens. I do want eggs. I don't need as many eggs as I'm going to end up having because I'm going to have hundreds of eggs. Um, but they are using a lot of recipes when you're cooking stuff. But the thing that they make is poop. And when they make poop in here, <laughs> they make fertilizer. It automatically turns into fertilizer. Um, if they're making it fast enough. And that's why I turned my poop interval up on single player. As I've said before, nothing happens when you're not here. And unless you're sitting here, they're not generating any poop and it's not generating any fertilizer. So they will make nitro fertilizer, which is better than regular fertilizer. It gives you more crops and it makes them grow faster. It's also used for some other stuff. So if you have a hatchery and you put animals in here and you feed them, they will produce the 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 uh, what you call it the nitro the uh, nitro fertilizer that you can use in your crops over here to make them grow faster. Okay, so there's two reasons why you want to have a hatchery. You can breed any of your egg laying critters wherever you are on the map. You don't have to breed them in hot areas or cold areas or any of that stuff. They will incubate the eggs and the eggs will hatch. And you'll have babies. Ah, much better than the old days where you had to wait, you know, 
forever and have the right temperature and carry your bears to different islands to breed them and then bring them back to your island and hope you could raise a baby without it dying of <laughs> and you, that way you don't have to worry about it dying of, of cold or heat or whatever else because that was a pain in the butt now I have heard <clears throat> people complain about this because they're like well this puts breeders out of business because in the officials your breeders were kind of your important people in your clan because they dedicated all their time to making sure that they raised up baby critters which is a full time job in the old system you don't have to do that anymore. Pop them in here. They will breed. They will have babies and the eggs will hatch all in here. Incubate the whole works. So you don't have to do anything once you put them in there other than turn on mating. And remember to turn it off, <laughs> especially if you're on an, a dedicated or an unofficial or official server. And so that you don't just keep breeding babies all over the place. Anyway, so that's, that's the hatchery. Okay. So now that's cool. The, why don't they just have one thing? Well, they have the hatchery over here and that gives you nitro nitric fertilizer. Then over on this side, you have the tame house. Got to do the mom thing. Get on the bed for school. Have fun. All right. Night Penny. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Go pillage the pirate. <laughs> yeah. Do real work. Yeah, exactly. Um, so then your other animals, your live baby animals go in the taming house and it works the same way. You can put the animals in here and we're going to go put the elephants in here and, um, you turn on breeding and they will make baby animals. It doesn't matter what, what climate it is or biome it is. They will make baby animals in here and the babies will raise up. Even if you don't go in there and imprint them, they won't imprint them automatically like the nanny does on S plus on art, but they will raise all the way up to adults and then you can pop them out and claim them. So you don't have to be, basically it's a hands-off proposition. You put them in there, they do their thing and you have baby animals coming out the other side that grow up to full grown. And this barrel here is going to be regular fertilizer. As long as you're feeding them, they'll start making regular fertilizer for your crops. So you'll have something to fertilize your crops that they need to eat to keep breeding and stay alive. Right? Makes sense. Let's put these guys in here. All right. So we're not going to be needing you for now. So we're going to say you and you why don't y'all come over here. Now the trick of this is this. You want to make sure that your openings or whatever you want to call it, the, the, the parameter or perimeter parameter, not parameter. Perimeter around the, the hatchery and the tame house is such that you can actually get the animals outside of the perimeter of what it is. Because if you don't like, uh, like, let's go over here. So if I take the elephants over here and I hold down E, one of the things that's going to go, it says load in the tame house. It will not load an elephant into a hatchery. It'll say, cannot load it into here. If he was, if I was too close to this and there was no tame house over there, it would say, Nope. Can't do that. Let's see if it'll do it here. Yeah. See this tame is not the type allowed in the tame into the tame hatchery. So you can't actually put the ones in the wrong one. It won't let you. All right. So let's bring these folks over here. Do we have names? Anybody thought of names? We've got two elephants. What do we name them? Elephant. Number one is a guy. What would you like to call elephant? Number one. <laughs> My radio announcer voice. Eleven number one. What would you like to be? While y'all are thinking, I'm going to put levels in him. So I know what he is. What is he? 55. I do this so I know what all the stats were that are important if I want to breed them. And uh, I'll know what it is later. Because once you start changing it, you won't be able to figure out what it was. 61 for health. And that's important when you do breed them. Because it's going to have babies based on its base 
health and all these things. It's not going to have it on whatever you rank it up to. So you start leveling it and you don't know what your base rates were. You won't really know what it's going to come out if you breed it to another animal. Yeah. And one of them tiny and we have George Pokey Pokey Tusky. All right, let's do that. Well, the first two was Tiny and George. So we'll call the Lady Tiny and we'll call the God George. Um, let's see, Stamina, seven, two, uh, and why do I put all the others as an initial and Stamina as S-T-A-M? Because on Arc, there's two S ones, their speed and their Stamina. Um, there's nothing, why am I doing this? This button. Melee. I didn't look what it was. 154. Okay, so you will be named George. Uh, options. Change name. George. I could spell. That would be good. And then you, my lady. Uh, closer. I'll be tiny. <laughs> well, I got mammoths and arc. You can get mammoths there. Uh, let's go ahead and do hers real quick. If I focus on what I'm doing, I can do it real, real fast. Um, and then we're going to put them in here. We're going to get them going. And then I think we're going to go over to that island and see what's on it. Uh, health 617. Wait, 2200. And 660. And melee 136. Okay, so we have that all set. Now, if I if I was playing old school Atlas and I wanted to put these guys to, to you know start having babies, I would go into behavior, I would uh put enable breeding, and then I go over to this one and I put behavior. Oops, I uh, got Come on, same one, behavior, enable reading, and then they would start getting hearts because they're right next to each other and they're all happy and they're not getting them. Oh, because they're following me. Got to have them on, not on follow, so we'll stop. Now they should get the little hearts, right? Or that. Why can I not see the hearts? There, see? They would, except for it says they're too cold. Which sucks if you're playing single player because you're all, or you're playing solo on that because you got to go all over the freaking map to figure out a place where they're not too cold to mate. And you got to build another base there. I think that there is honey on Skull Island. Really? Across the bay from the docks against the rock wall. All right, I'll go over and take a look. All right, so... There you go. You can't, you, they, they, they're not going to mate because it's too cold here. But if I put them in there, they will. And here we go. Let's load them into the tame house. And we'll load you into the tame house. Their mating is turned on. Now you can do it in here. Go to view tame information. Uh, breeding allowed. It says they can mate. Breeding allowed. And then here it's going to start saying you're mating in progress. See? So even though it's too cold for them to mate, on the outside, if they're in there, everything's cool. And uh, yeah, and it'll take about the same amount of time. And there you go. Now you can't, uh, they need food. Let's put this in here. Mm. Oh, can't do it that way. F, yeah, I can't, there. And they got food. All right. Yeah, they will have to have food to, um, yeah, to get the, the generations going. But yeah, that's 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 what you do, and you can check on them. You got 
44%, 49%. It's moving on up. All right, so you can do that. You can toggle the mating on any one by selecting it and saying toggle matings. You can unload them by selecting them. And I don't know why you get to shake every time because there's no elephant. I'm, I'm telling you, there's not an elephant near me. I'm betting. Um, you can unload them by selecting them. Now, I'll warn you that for some reason, this is a little bit janky because sometimes you'll click on it and you hit unload and it does unload that one. It loads unload something else. But make sure it's grayed out. And if it, that's not working, click on the one below it and sometimes it'll pop the one above it out if you want to unload them. Okay? But that's 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 how the, the taming house and the hatchery work. And now you know how the bait station works. Now, the barn is another place that you can store animals. The difference in the barn and these two, you can still toggle mating on and off. And you can still feed them by putting it, putting food in the, in the inventory slots. But what you won't get with the barn that you get with these is you won't get any fertilizer. Um, but you can put more critters in the barn over time than you can put in either one of these. I've never filled up either one of these <laughs> so far, but I, you know, if you were in a big company, you probably would. And, and a lot of what I see a lot of, um, bigger companies in the officials is they'll have several of these set up for different types of animals so that they don't overflow them. But the barn will hold a lot and you don't have to worry about it overflowing. Okay, cool. Thank you for coming by. Trees. <laughs> so hello. I appreciate it. Yeah, Georgia Gracie. Exactly. Um, I think there's honey on Skull Island. It's across the bay from the dock. I'll have to go over and look. All right. So there's, they're in there. Now, the other thing about these, the hatchery and the tame house and the barn is if you have saddles on your animals and you put them in there, they stay on. If you try to use the modular ships and you build the tame rails, um, it, you can put tames in there so that they travel better and they don't slide off your boat and float away and dumb things like that. That happens some occasionally on the custom ships, but, um, you can't have anything in their inventory. And you can't have anything on them. George and Martha. <laughs> so, if you want to move your animals around on a tame rail on a boat, understand you're going to have to be able to take everything off of them and put it somewhere to put them in the tame rail. Otherwise it won't work. It also won't work if you're riding something, if you're on it, whether you're standing on it out of the saddle, like an elephant, you stand on its back, or if you're in the saddle, it will not let you transfer it into the tame houses or the, or the uh, barn. I don't have enough materials on I don't think to in here to make a barn. Let me see if I do. No, I don't have enough. I have to get some hiding carrots and wood. I got them almost enough. But anyway, that's the difference between the three. So now you know what this does. That's the bait station. Makes things so much better when you have toxic flora. You know how to get toxic flora. You find ants. You capture ants in the swarm house. And they will start generating toxic flora when you're in proximity of the swarm house. If you're not on the island where the swarm house is, you can trap them there and then put them on your boat and bring them over to your island and just build another swarm house and put them in that. And they'll pop right in there and they'll start making stuff for you. See, I've already got three more. You don't have to feed them. I've not had to feed any of them. I know I'll, I'll say that as as of two weeks ago, you didn't have to feed them. I don't know if you have to feed them now because they seem like they've changed some things about this. So when it's generating passively in here, it's only going to stack it to one. But if you take them all out and stack them up together, you can move them over in a full stack. I'm still going. Don't worry. <laughs> We're still here, Dale. All right, so so that's toxic flora. And we're going to put it back in here. We're going to take our stuff off of us that we don't want to lose. And we're going to go, are these guys mating? Why are you, why are y'all mating? 
thought I'd turn, turn these guys. Y'all need to like cool off. Um, now if you're, if you're playing on an Island where bad things are around and you don't want to have to worry about your stuff getting killed while you're off, you know, gallivanting, um, you can go to your barn or your hatchery, hold this down. And you can see here, it says load nearby seven tames. Hit that button. Boom. All of them are in here. Now you don't have to worry about them getting killed by something while I'm gone. I probably should put some more food in there because you know they might get hungry. So let's put some food, put some veggies and fruits and all kind of fun stuff in there. Remember, if you these are all veggies eaters, if you put carnivores in there, you're gonna need to put some meats. Here, I should give them by. I'll put that in there. Milk won't go. Seeds won't go. So you don't have to worry about accidentally putting those in there. One other device that I do want to put up, and I'll show you what that is, is when you get up to... It's Captain Earring. Is it Captain Earring or is it... What is it? Skills. This is what I want to look at. Skills. So somewhere in here... Oh, no. It's in building. If you get all the way down to building... To esoteria of building, which is where you have to get to build stone. Then one of the things that you can build, uh, move it up some more. Oh, I can't move it up anymore. Why isn't that showing it? Oh, there we go. Is where is that? Somewhere on that list. Uh, where is it? Crew resource silo. You'll want to build one of those when you can. Let's see if I got enough stuff to build one. There we go. And the reason you want to build one of these and put it down near your base is you only have to put one on an island. It doesn't matter where you put it. Um, we're going to put this one over here next to the crops. That's why not. Um, I'm going to expand that out some more. So I'm not going to put it right there, but we'll put it right here. There. Now I can put food in here and let's take some. All right. So let's look at this. This prime meat spoils pretty fast, right? It's six minutes left on it. If I put this in here, bazinga, it's going to go to four days, 14 hours, 25 minutes, and two seconds. Makes things last a lot longer. It will not let you put milk in it. It will not let you put seeds in it. It will not let you put, oh yeah, we'll let you put rotten meat. Um, and you can move everything over with this button and that'll go in there and it'll do that. But I don't think you can eject. No, you can't eject rotten meat out of it. You have to move it to your inventory. But this is a way to keep stuff a lot longer than the preserving bins. And it will feed all the ship, um, whatever you call these guys. <laughs> Your, uh, your, um, crew, that's what you call them. It will feed them all. And where is it? You can put your gold in it and it will pay them all. So as long as there's a ship of yours anchored on your Island that you put one of these down on, it will feed. If you put food in here, it will feed your crews as many crews you have. And it will pay them whenever they need to be paid. So a handy thing to put down, not only because of that, but because, <coughs> excuse me, because of the preserving qualities it has. Nope. Um, you might know, I'm not sure I know offhand. Can you put prepared foods in here? I'm thinking you probably cannot, but like rosemary chicken and stuff like that. Can you put that in the crew resource box? Come on, don't be shy. You can call them your slaves. <laughs> no, I pay them. If they're being paid, they're crew. And the beatings will cease once, once the morale improves. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get this stuff harvested. That's one of the reasons I, I haven't put more things up here because I was kind of waiting to put this up when I was online so that y'all could see what it does. 
And now I'll probably add some layers. The cool thing about this setup here that I have is I can now put half wall slants on these corners like this Do it real quick. And then we're going to go, we're going to go exploring. I promise we're going to go exploring. Two of these, I really don't need two. I really only need one, but we're going to do two. Let's just do one. Uh, one of these. And then we're going to need some ceilings. I'll do four, I think. Showing you all my tricks. Shoot. Shoot. All right, let's go over here. I'm going to put a half wall. That. And we're going to put a ceiling. Go on there. Where are you at? No. What? It won't go on there? <sighs> Changed it. Oh, dang it. Pick up. All right, let's try this. We'll do it this way then. This is the hard way. Dang it. I like subscribe. Uh, thank you. Nope, I appreciate it. Um, really? Can you not do that anymore? Suck if you can't do that now. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make some modifications to the uh the old <laughs> crop plots. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're going to transform it into this. And we'll do it this way. Because, you know, I can improvise. Now, I should be able to put some crop plots on top of here and have this still water them. If not, I can go up another level here and I'll water them there. That just gives me an opportunity that I can plant stuff without having to use so much space. So we'll do that later. For now, it's starting to play the game after a few years' absence. Can you tell me if it is worth it to put points into journeyman, etc., levels, or focus on expanding building options? So. There's a couple things. One is this. My opinion. All right. So this is just my opinion. And the way I I typically build my characters from the start. I'll get the basic stuff down to like building in wood. And then I focus most of my stuff on unlocking beast mastery and then boats. I do make sure I unlock piracy so I can get a grapple hook as fast as I can. But the rest of the stuff goes into beast mastery because I can get animals to do my work for me. The harvest, the elephants harvest more wood, the giraffes harvest more thatch, the bears harvest more fiber, and so on and so on. So, you know, I can use my animals to harvest stuff without having to break my tools all the time and keep repairing them. And I can harvest and haul a lot more stuff. But there's other people that, you know, they want to hurry up and get to building. I'll tell you that if you go play official and you're not on an Island the first day that it restarts, cause they wipe every season. Um, you're going to have a hard time placing things like harvesting. Cause there's, there's now harvesting buildings that you can use. There's a, a harvester that harvests rock and flint. There's a harvester that harvests wood and thatch. There's a harvester that harvests harvests um, berries and um, fiber. And there's one that harvests metal, <clears throat> but they can only be placed in, in not in close proximity to each other. And more than likely you're going to have the bigger companies are going to pepper the Island with lots of crafting stations and warehouses. And they'll use every slot up that you can possibly put on there the first day. And the way they do that, 
is they'll get one person and they'll have that person ratchet up through building to get all the way down to the bottom and spend all their points on building to get advanced automation. And you can do that as a single player too. You just have to understand that's where you're going to put all your points. You got to get them in as fast as you can go to every Island you can get. So you can, every Island you land on, is going to give you a buff in XP. So get on the Island, kill whatever you can kill. Cause you're going to get more XP for killing stuff than you are from, um, harvesting and stuff like that. If you can run treasure maps because you've got a group of people playing with and they can help you with that. Then if you run a treasure map and get the treasure on an island that you just discovered, you're going to get double buffs because you get a buff from getting the treasure plus the buff that you're on the island. So you'll expand your points. That's all well and good. But here's something you can do if you're like me and you play most of the stuff. Oh, I got to eat something. What do I got to have? I got to have berries. Um, these real quick. And you want to, um, be able to do that, but you, you, you're going to want to have animals and you're going to have this and this is this. So here, here's what you can do. And, and I'm going to tell you how to do this, but I want you to listen closely <laughs> before you do this. Okay. Don't do this until you listen to the whole explanation. All right. Cause if you do, then bad things are going to happen. You can respect your character every time you level up. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Don't do it <laughs> until you're ready to do it. Because when you hit this button that I'm going to show you how to hit, it will instantly wipe all of your skills and all of your attributes to whatever base is. So you will have no skills and you'll have no points in health, weight, none of that stuff. So don't do this unless you're sitting somewhere where you can go spend those points back and get yourself set back up the way you want to be. Otherwise, if you do this while you're out, say in the ocean, in a rainstorm with cyclones all over everywhere, you're suddenly not going to be able to do anything on your boat. Um, uh, you know, you can steer it, but you're not going to be able to command your crew or do all kinds of it's, it's yeah. Especially if you're like map questing and you're out here on a bear. And you reset all your stuff. You can't ride your bear because you don't, you don't, won't have a level two saddle, uh, level two taming done. So to respect your character again, listen, do not do this unless you're ready to do it. You're in a safe place and you can respend all your points. Go to your inventory screen. Every time you level up this button right here is going to get highlighted. And if you click that button, everything resets and you can respend your points however you want to. And you can do this every single time you level up. So if you say, want to build really quick, put all your points into building, build whatever you want to build. And then you want to build, uh, then you want to do ship writing. You can respec and take all those points that you had in building and put them in your skill tree for ship seamanship and captaineering. And then when you have that stuff done, you can hit the button again and put all your points in beast mastery. However you want to do it. Every time you level up, you can respect, just don't respect unless you're ready to do it. Cause if you hit that button, everything's going to zero. I mean, your health won't go to zero, but you know what I mean? It's going to go back to, it's going to reset to what it was when you were a brand new character. Oh yeah. And if you're playing on notes, makes a good point. If you're playing on unofficial, sometimes some of those will let you respect as often as you want to, whenever you want to <clears throat> just please <laughs> hear me now. Listen to me later, whatever <laughs> Hans and Franz used to say, don't do it unless you're ready to reset your stuff. If you do it in the middle of something else, all of your skills are going to go away and you won't be able to access them until you respend all the points, which can be tedious in the middle of a fight or while you're trying to do treasures or while you're trying to harvest or while you're trying to build a boat. So do it when you are ready to do it and you have time to respend your points. Okay. Warning herd. Please tell me. Yeah. Cause I've had people 
may, leave comments on some of our videos and said, I just, I, I did what you said here and now I can't access this. And I say, did you do the steps that I covered? Well, no, I didn't do all that. I just did the last thing because you said this is what it did. Yeah. <laughs> but now you don't have all this other stuff because you did, didn't do things in order. <laughs> Following instructions is key here. Make sure you do that. All right. That I'm upset about that. Let's go exploring. I gotta get I gotta get a bear. Um I do want to go look at that place where somebody said there's honey here. On an animal like an at an arc. Ah, you both get XPs. If you go to a new island and you get your XP buff, you'll both get XPs. That, but what I've seen, or what I've experienced, that is, is that um, I don't get as much when my animal kills things as, as I do when I do it myself. If that makes sense. I guess it is split some kind of way. Excuse me. I am losing my voice a little bit here, but, uh, we'll, what we'll do, let's, let's take a battle cow. Let's do that. We're going to go to a new Island and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to test this stuff out. Probably is like asking them not to panic when something is happening. <laughs> Sometimes I'm going to do a video on that. Maybe I'll just cut an outtake out of this and do it for the, the folks that are learning about respecting, but <laughs> Yeah, I just it just makes me nervous when I tell people this is how you do something and they like they hear the last part and they do that last thing and then they <coughs> find themselves in a bad spot. All right, so let's let's unload. We're gonna unload. Um who are we gonna take with us? We're gonna take Nacho Libre, I think, is who we're gonna take. Because if he dies, she dies. So I'm going to select her and I'm going to unload her. Now we'll see if, Hey, it actually worked. Okay. I've got to get this. I'll, I'll put another saddle on. All right. I think I got enough stuff. Um, and then let's take, how do I have a, why am I breeding monkeys? <laughs> uh, evidently we have some new monkeys. Oh, geez, Louise. Um, we got turned breeding off these monkeys. Who's, who's making babies here? Breathing aloud. Uh, you need to stop. Let's do that. Okay. Now, now we won't have any more monkeys, but apparently we have some new monkeys. So let's take one of the new ones. Uh, maturation, not matured yet. Let's get one. That's, well, I guess we don't have any that are mature. Oh, this one's, this one's mature. Yeah. Oh, that's the one I just turned off. We have another monkey in here making babies. Can't make Cindy Lou can't make Corporal Flinger. We need to turn. He's getting crazy up in here. Oh, that's what his pickles was mating with Corporal Flinger. That's why we're getting extra monkeys. Okay. We'll turn her off too. Okay. So that's how simple it is to turn breeding on and off. <clears throat> I'm a bit late now. Uh, okay. Let's take. That's a high level female. Well, I don't want to take her out of there. Well, this one's almost fully matured. Let's take this one. As soon as it hits 100%, we're going. There we go. That's a female, 116, male, 51. Let's take this one. In case it dies, no biggie. Come here, you. I just got to claim him. See? That's how this works. Monkey done. <laughs> you are going to be called. Uh, options, change name. We're going to call you short timer. <laughs> I'm betting that's what's going to happen. Uh, okay. Now I got a monkey on my back. I got a cow. I need a saddle and we're going, we're going to go explore that island. We're going to see if we kill some stuff, just how it splits the points out. I think I got enough stuff for making a saddle here. Do I have a saddle? Here too. I need more hide. Seriously. All right. Well, there's an easy way to get hide. Hmm. 
If I can find some fishies. There we go. Makes no sense, but this bow will work under the water. Yeah, but I just can't hit it. There we go. Right, that should give us enough hide. And we'll make a saddle and we'll go exploring. See how big this fish is. Uh, that's not a very big one. That's good. Hatchet will get me more hides. Not much. Mmm. Right, for a few minutes. Oh, yes, you can turn them off. <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Now, let's get rid of things we don't need to take with us so we don't lose things that are important. Like good maps. Yeah, fix that. Don't need to take rocks with us. I'm not. We'll take that. Just just for giggles. I don't really have anything. I don't want to put milk in there. I don't want to put milk in there. Silly rabbit. Can you share an inventory between workstations? You cannot. Uh, unless, I'll, I'll say this, on official, you cannot. If you put some mods on here that works like S+, uh, you can transfer stuff. And there are transfer guns in the game um, in modded versions of it. But on vanilla or on official, you cannot. Or hide again? I need to fix my grapple because I need to have that. That's that's one of those things you really want to always have. You know, because you're a pirate and stuff. Get this fish. Alright, that's a big one. There, yeah, gotcha. Oh, he's heavy. Yeah, I say that my monkey's not going to last long because, you know, I tend to do this. <laughs> you go swimming with him on my back and forget that he's back there and then he drowns. All right, let's, let's get this one. A grapple fix. Give my monkey some berries. Give my cow some... Wheat, and then we'll hit the road. Uh, grapple. Over here. Fix. Thank you. Everything else in decent shape. Make sure you make sure you have your stuff fixed. You really need to keep your stuff fixed. Um, come on, you. Did I bring the did I bring the saddle? I bet I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Here we go. We'll give you this. We'll give you that. Uh, and. Uh, keep the bucket on me. And your bear when you get them, by the way. Sugar bear. Wonder old enough to remember them. Yep, I've had sugar bear and sugar smacks before. I usually name at least one bear Yogi. But I spell it like they do on Fallout. The Yagwai. It's really, you know, Yogi, in case you didn't know. Take this with us. Just in case you need some foods. Um oh wow, I need I need need some uh meats. Oh, I got some cooked meats over here somewhere. Oh, out of here. Uh what else do we need? These back here. Brad you right on up this way i on official and i don't know about um unofficial but i've had really big problems with doing 
the whole uh, E animals up on the boats. I usually just have to have them follow me. Ah! But come on, grab, grab it. Oh, I'm too. If you're if you're standing on the ground and your boat's too far back and the ladder's not working, look up and do that climb, and usually it'll work. All right, I want you back to work here. There we go. Um, all right, we got our battle cow. Let's level her up. Make sure there's no levels that need to be done. Yeah, and the parent will give you an air tank too. It helps with your um. We go. We're going exploring with a battle cow and our war monkey. Yes, they are. That's why I tell people level up your fortitude. Early game, level your fortitude up because it's the fastest way to get it leveled because you're going to go through levels faster at the very beginning and don't cost them any points. Um, if you wait till later and try to level up your fortitude, you're going to be freezing to death all the time and dying of heat stroke. Parrots will give you longer um, time underwater. It makes your oxygen go down fast, slower. Oh, crap. I do. I hope it's a bear. Ah, uh, dang it. I'm low on everything. I, sh I was going to eat, and then I got... See, this is what happens. I get sidetracked. We're going to have to make a campfire over here and get something to eat. What do I have? Do I have anything? I've got milk. And I've got these. Let's, let's eat some of these. How's my stomach looking? We'll do that. We'll drink some milk. At least get those two up some. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Ah! Run! Run! Run, little one! That's a lot of bad people. Oh, please don't show any green bars. <laughs> what happens when you're not paying attention? Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Come on. Seriously, don't follow me. Oh, he's turning. He doesn't see me. He doesn't care about my little sloop. No, I can see his numbers now. Oh, oh crap. Don't follow. Don't follow. Can't see me. Can't see me. Can't see me. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I might make it. Oh, no. Come on. Into the wind. Oh, he's, he's still coming this way. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> he starts lighting me up. I'm done. There's no way. <laughs> okay. I think he's, I think he's good. I think he's going to leave me alone. And remember they're out here next time when I'm coming back across. Too poor to pay attention. Exactly. Exactly. Notice my death counter has not gone up even one this this playthrough. That's, I mean, this session, not <laughs> this playthrough. That's incredible for me. That's pretty dang good. Uh, let's see it's in this box. Maybe there's some food in there. Don't hit it. Just check it out. Don't hit it. Yeah, I'm going to take the lazy way out and turn my cells off. This is why you want to grapple early on. You don't have to go play with the sharks. Any food? <laughs> Feeling chipped. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta get killed, Morris. It goes. Everybody likes that better. I get, I get better views. Mm. 
1080. <clears throat> Just checking to see what I'm supposed to be broadcasting at. I just want to make sure I'm... Uh, let's see. Evidently my ship can level up. Let's see. I think I'll do resistance. No, let's do sturdiness. Okay. All right, did I get any food? I got fish. I don't really need fish. I guess I can eat this. Hoping to get some bread meat. All right, Nope. Take care. Thanks for coming in. Sorry I didn't die more for you. I'll work on that. I'm sure there's deaths coming up. You're going to miss. But, you know, you can watch the replay tomorrow. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like if uh, if you're enjoying the content. Let me know. Hit the like button. Let me know that you're you're having fun because that's what I'm here for. Is let's have fun, learn some stuff. You know that's that's also not sure for bed. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, <laughs> I'll try. Um, okay, so see, I have not been here yet. So when I get here, we're taking the battle cow and we're going to kill some stuff and see if I don't level up or the cow levels up. Which one? Which one will level faster? If we don't both get killed in the process. Maybe there's bears over here. That'd be good. Then at least I'll know where some are. I may, I may know this island. I think it, if this island the one I think it is, this might be the same island I'm on on C2 on official. <sighs> and if it is, it's got bears. And giraffes. I don't think this is the same island, but it'd be. There's pigs. We got pigs here. See if I can. Uh... Oh, there's something over there with a tail on it. That looks like a tiger or a lion. We're just going to spin around and back up. I don't know if my battle cow can handle a tiger. Is that a pig? What is that? I wish I had my, I wish I could use a scope. Can't do it. Um, if you're going to go, well, it all depends on what you're going to use it for. Right? So, but if I'm upgrading a ship, especially the sloop, <laughs> um, but, if you're just using it to get hop islands, then I would spend the the uh, the points on either sturdiness, resistance, or weight. If you're going to put cannons on it, then you want to bump the damage up a little bit, and, and you're going to need extra crew. Um, the extra beds are going to cut the cost of your crew some, but not a heck of a lot. And if you know if you're out actually doing stuff, you're going to get plenty of gold. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about that as you get play the game. Um, if you're hauling stuff, you're going to need some weight because the sloops especially have almost no weight. The ramshackle is really low on weight. I mean, it starts way low. Um, but, you know, it's cheap to build. You get it in Freeport. Resistance is going to help if some of the chips of the dam start firing on you, but it ain't going to help much in a sloop. I can tell you that. In fact, it's not going to help much in the um the other ships unless you've got some firepower to shoot back or you've got planks on board that you can fix stuff with or you put armor on it um the sturdiness is going to be the thing that may help you the most and that slows down how fast the ship sinks so if you make a bucket and your ship gets hauled you can 
especially if you get somebody else and nope had to go, but he helped me out a lot one night with a brand new ship that I had, um, that I got hauled, um, cause I lost like six planks and I didn't have any more planks on it. Cause it was just the test run, but I had a bucket and I was able to bail the water out. Basically you bail water with a bucket by scooping it up and dumping it out. And it's a little mini game to it. I'll show you how it works when we get off the ship, but I could keep the boat afloat by bailing and he helped me get the resources to put planks back on it. So if you've got a bucket, you can keep your boat from sinking. And if you've got a friend, you can probably repair it before it goes down. If you move fast, but sturdiness will make that, it will slow that process way down. So that you don't have to worry so much about it. Um, sinking is fast. All right, so we're going to get on. What we're going to first do is we're going to put our sword on. If that's a lion and he knocks me off of my mount, which lions tend to do, if I have my sword out, I can fight him right away. If I don't have my sword out when I get on my mount and he jumps on me, I'm probably not going to get to my, be able to pull my sword out at that point. Oh, now I got to milk her first. Get milk. Now to sort out. Okay, there we go. So it's a good idea if you're just riding around, especially if there's lions, to have your sword. It, you see on the animation, it doesn't look like I have it out, but if I get knocked off, I'll have the sword in my hand. Um, now, the other thing about riding a mount onto an island that you have never been on before. Um, so as far as, um, let me finish this talk. So if you get on an island and you, and that's a cobra over there. No, it's a rattlesnake. That's okay. Um, <laughs> focus, Julie. If you get on an island and you're on a mount, you're not going to hit the discovery until you get off the mount. Then it'll say you got the discovery and it's going to start that little XP bump in the bottom right. Now we're going to go take our cow and we're going to kill some stuff. Wahoo! Kill it. All right. Um, let's get some meat. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I didn't get my sword out again. Let's go back and do that. Um, so as far as the ramshackle sloop, so here's here's the thing. If you're going to um throw your points into shipbuilding, then I would say get a dock built and build a better boat. If you're going to put your points into like aiming animals, then you can upgrade the sloop. And I've got a, I've got a video on how to upgrade the sloop without ever having to build a dock. The problem with the, the dock for the sloop is it's the same dock for the schooner. And then you have to have 500 gold. To even build it you can get a ramshackle sloop at any free port for just materials that you can find on a free port wouldn't let you build on it really we'll try it on mine i i've never had a, tro a problem building on them okay we got a bunch of dead pigs over here i'm not seeing what killed them Oh, there's a wolf. That's what it was. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, now I got more meat. Hey. Oh, dang it. Let's go kill some more stuff. How big is this pig? Is it a big pig? It's a 64 pig. I don't think my... I don't think my cow can handle a 64 pig yet, but you know what? Let's give it a shot. Wahoo! Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Between the pig and the monkey, we're down. He's dead. There we go. There's some points. All right, let's go. Let's go find some more stuff. I figured to get foggy in here. Um, Watching season 12, second video, so some catch up. 
<laughs> That's fine. Take your time. I'll be here. Well, yeah, I'm old, so I'm, I'm gonna try to be here. What is that? That's Alpha Cow. Okay, I'm good. The Alpha Lion, I'm pretty well screwed. Now, if I if I had any faith in this thing, I would take on the cow because you can get a lot of XP killing these alphas. But I, this cow will never do it. Not that one. Four tender ones is sitting there when you leave them. I know. I say I'm wasteful. I'm trying to kill as many things as I can so I can get as much XP because you don't get a lot of XP for hacking stuff up. You get some. Oh, this is an easy one. This is an easy one. Go, go. Here we go. Here we go. Um. I'm not, I, I see. I just can't kill the little monkeys. This just hurts my soul. Um. So, if if you can't build on a loop, that's news to me. Um, Penny is off, but her and her husband built the sloop that I put the video out on. Um, and. They were able to build it in season 12. So you have to be able to take, you have to be in a place where you can um, replace the wheel because you have to take the wheel up and do some modifications. And if you can't replace your wheel, then you kind of duck. Well, that's the problem with the cow, man. Out of energy. I hear something. A snake. Oh. Just looking around and seeing what else is here. Let's see. Sea grapes. Did the cow harvest a little bit of straw and a whole a lot of berries and stuff. So you can use a cow not just for a battle cow, but they'll harvest them. Older. You're not the only old gamer. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. You know, that's the thing. I started this channel and I still gotta do the video. I'm gonna do a video that basically says, um, uh how was i titling it um myths about gamers and and why boomers should ignore them or something like that i, I i've got a, i've got a whole script written out but i, I was going to do that and then i realized i have no videos <laughs> so people might watch that and go well he doesn't even play any games he's got no videos about anything so why should i listen to him so i spent the last year making videos and so at some point i'm gonna make that video of why you should don't play video games when you're, you know, in your fifties and sixties, cause it's fun. <gasps> That's a bear, hot diggity dog. We got bears on the side. Um, I bear. How how big are you? A four. Eh, not a great bear, but oh crap, neck can mm. That is a problem. That is a problem. All right, back my sword and get back on this bear. Um, you know, on this. Ow. Okay, we're gonna get bears. Oh, there's there's metal. Um, let's see. Go over here, hit H, and see what we got. Iron. Dang. Love to have some copper. At least something different. Okay, so uh, you can still build on the sleep. Yeah, I I thought you could. Um, can I ask you? Ask my age. Certainly, I am sixty one. I'll be sixty two in September. I retired. In 2001, February 2001, February 2000. I mean, not 2001, 2021. I maybe it's 2020. It was right after the pandemic and all that stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of doing this stuff. I want to make video games and make a video game channel. And my wife went, um, sure, sweetheart. <laughs> Uh, and we had lots of other things going on that I needed to help, you know, her out because her father, it was, um, needing assistance and we were taking care of him and it was just too much on her because she was trying to do it herself. And so our, we both retired and, and we, we took care of him until he passed away last December. But basically I've been running this channel since then and having a blast, but I'll be 62 in a couple, what, four months, five months, six months. I don't know. Something like that. I'm way too old, according to my 12, 13-year-old girl. Well, here's the thing. 
my grandkids think I am the coolest pop pop in the world because I have a video game channel. <laughs> um, in fact, I made the Raptor video. If you go back and look through my art videos, um, the Raptor trap video is for my grandson for, he wanted it for a Christmas present. He's like, will you make me a video, a birthday, birthday. Will you make me a video on how to catch a Raptor? I want a Raptor trap video. And I was like, mm, well, okay. <laughs> so that's why that's out there. Um, it's gotten almost 12,000 views. This is pretty popular. Um, but <laughs> sound quality sucks because I was sick and wasn't feeling very good. And, but yep, things you do for your grandkids. Uh, I remember going over to my friend's house to play Pong because her parents would let her run. That is hilarious. Honestly, I had this similar situation. So the first gaming situation I had was on a trash 80. TRS-80, Tandy computer um, that my best friend had. Um, my parents would not, would not waste money on video games because they are a fad and nobody will ever make money with video games. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Almost out of time. I gotta kill one more thing, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna make it. There's nothing else over here. Oh well. Um, I don't know. That we definitively answered the question of what levels first because I got no levels on my cow, and I didn't get any levels. Eh, so I don't know which gets more levels when you're killing stuff. Um. Oh, I can kill this guy. Here we go. Come here. I might be able to get... Oh, somebody leveled up. Might have been me. Might have been the cow. We're going to find out. Come here. 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 All right. Let's see. What leveled? Not the cow. I got a level. Yay. All right. So I am at... Where's my fortitude? It's 50. I think that's pretty decent for now. Um... Stamina will help with your diving, as will health, because you live longer if it gets cold. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to spend any points right now, because I really don't know what I want to spend it on. Um, okay, so this island has bears. That's good. But yeah, so my best friend had, had, the, had the Tandy, and we played... Um, I mean, that was back when we, your, um, hard drive, this is a bear, was a cassette tape. 16. Not bad. Not great. Gotta get something beside the cow to ride. Um, but, oh, oil here. Okay. That's good. But we would, you recorded it on a cassette tape. For those of you who don't know what a cassette tape is. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was a little thing that was, you know, before you had MP3 players and all that kind of stuff that you recorded your songs on and made mixtapes and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we'd record the games on, on that and you would type it in, in basic. You you got, we get magazines that had games, code the coding for games in the back of the magazine or in the magazine. And we'd spend like all weekend typing in code to play asteroids or missile command or whatever. And then you, you know, get it all typed in and you'd hit the start button and sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. And then you'd have to spend the rest of the weekend trying to figure out what colon was supposed to be a semicolon or a comma was supposed to be a period until you debugged the code and you finally figured it out and you could play the game. And that's how we started playing video games. Or that's how, the, that's how I started playing them. <coughs> that and, you know, the quarter gobblers and all the foosball halls with Pong and Centipede and stuff like that. The little tabletop deals that they had in every pizza hut. Um, that was That was my start with gaming. I've been playing video games ever since. And I've had people tell me my whole life, 
You're too old for that crap. You need to grow up and let that foolishness go. You're wasting way too much time and money playing video games. And I say to them, well, one, I don't feel like it's a waste of time because I have fun and that's entertainment for me. And uh, how much did you spend on your golf clubs last week? <laughs> your greens fees or the tickets to your favorite ball game or whatever it was. Cause you know, that stuff gets expensive too. Um, so yeah. The set plus pencil, best way to see. Yeah. <laughs> what does that do? Oh, um, but yeah, I really, I really have fun playing and, and I, <clears throat> going back to what I started here is I started the channel to encourage more people my age to, you know, stop feeling like it's a bad thing to do and release the inner kid and, and have some fun and play video games because it does, it keeps your mind sharp. It, it helps with your reflexes. It lets you unwind. I mean, even grinding and getting resources on some of these games, which is monotonous as all get out. At least you don't have to think you're just out there banging on trees. That's a relief depending on what your, you know, real life work is. And, and so I started the channel and I was looking, I keep track of my demographics. So I, I you know, all the statistics that YouTube gives you on who's watching your videos and all that kind of good stuff. And by the way, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted that I have over 3000 subscribers right now. It blows my mind that that has happened. I'm so thankful. I really appreciate it. It just blows my mind. And the, the reception I've gotten from most people has been great. And I get lots of likes on the videos and people leave great comments and suggestions for other people that are playing awesome demographic. And when I look at what, who, who actually watches the videos, I get a few views from 17 to 24 year olds. I get a bunch of video of, of views from people from 25 to 44 and almost as many from 44 to 54. And I get views from people over 60 and that's people who say, admit to YouTube that they're over 60, right? So, and that end of the graph is growing, which also thrills me because it means that people are maybe looking at what I'm watching and going, yeah, I could do that. Cause you can, it's fun. Not that hard. It takes some practice. I mean, it's like anything else. I, I, when I started playing, so I started playing video games back in the day. Right. And, and then I played PC games and I played PC games for a long time. And then my son convinced me, actually, he didn't convince me. He didn't, it's not like he had a twisted my arm, but you know, he had, he had a PlayStation and he had an Xbox. And then when, um, PlayStation four came out, there was a game I was playing on PC called planet side. If anybody's ever played planet side, <laughs> woohoo shout out in the, in the audience. Um, but planet side two was out and they were going to have a port to PlayStation four when it was released. And I was like, that'd be cool. I would like to play that and I'll play it on, on, and I'll buy a console and I'll play it. So I bought the PlayStation four and then Planet side two didn't release. Wah, wah. And so I was like, well, I got this thing and, and I'll try to play a few games and I, I just couldn't get the hang of the controller and, um, needing vitamins again. And so let me show you real quick. All right. So I got a bucket full of water here. If I hit my right button on my mouse, it'll dump it out. And if I hit my left button, it'll scoop it up. So if you want to bail out your boat, you can do it that way. Just make sure you're throwing the water back out um, of your boat, not, not into your boat when you scoop it up. Make sure you're throwing it overboard. Um, so yeah, I had the PlayStation 4 and I couldn't get the hang of it. And so... I started playing, I think, what was it? Uh, dude, what's the name of that game? Borderlands. I was playing Borderlands and I, oh, I was, it was, I was horrible. And I was, you know, you've seen like comics, memes and stuff of people pointing their gun up in the air and just turn around in circles going, I can't make it. And that was me. That was me. And 
my son's like, well, look, just turn the sensitivity down on the mouse and or in the keyboard of a controller and just take it slower. And then as you get muscle memory, you'll be able to speed it up. And then sooner or later, it's going to feel like it's really slow and you'll have to speed up a lot. And then you're there and you can use it just like anybody else that's playing games. And that's true. And it's all about muscle memory and, and timing and, and learning just how stuff works. So yeah, you can do it. You've never played video games before. You can do this. Um, but yeah, I was, I'm, I'm really excited about the growth of the channel, but I'm even more excited about the people that are watching and the, and the folks that are coming out and chatting in the chat. Cause it's, it's amazing to me that it's happening. And, and, and it, the people that are watching are the people that I kind of want to talk to. Um, it's not that I don't want to talk to other people. It's not that I want young people saying that, you know, well, uh, you, uh, video games, we launched them. So they're ours. No, no. A gamer's a gamer for me. I don't care who you are, what you do. Um, man, woman, child, he, they, whatever. I don't, I, I don't care. Gaming is a kind of like the mutual, uh, handshake that we can all have. And having fun playing with other people is like awesome. Xbox and Xbox 360 always got dizzy playing. They got rid of it. Never gave those pro problems with PC. Just build new system two months ago for gaming. Yeah. The biggest problem with the PCs is is keeping keeping up. Especially as, as the games get more demanding. Um <clears throat> which was why I bought the console. The thing that was attracted to me about the console was it was supposed to be, you know, you get it, you put the game in and it works, which back then, <laughs> well, nine times out of 10 was true. Not anymore, but, um, consoles just have as many, have as many issues with, um, stuff working as, as an eight, well, as, uh, the PCs do, but, that's what sold me. And, and I played, I played borderlands. I got, I, I never got good at borderland. I can't say that, but then destiny came out and I played the heck out of destiny one. And I mean, I was addicted to it. I was playing that like forever mid uh, four in the morning. I'm still up playing and I got to get up one of those deals where, you know, it's like, uh, one more time, one more time. We'll get this one more time. And then I get, look at the clock and it's four o'clock and I got I to gotta get up for work at six. And I'm sneaking into the bed. My wife's going, you're never going to make it through the day. I know. I know. But yeah. Um, and I played PlayStation for a long time until I started playing Ark. And when I started playing Ark, I found out that on PC, you could play Ark that we had mods and made it like a completely different game sometimes. And that put me back on the PC game. And, and that's pretty much where I've been ever since. I don't play anything on my console anymore. I've got it. I've still got the, the PlayStation um, for when the grandkids come over. And my wife, I bought her uh, Xbox X like six months ago. What, whenever Harry Potter came out, she really, she really likes the Harry Potter things and she wanted to play the game. And she still doesn't have played it much, but she's got an Xbox. I've thought about trying Atlas out on the Xbox, but I'm not going to pay for it. I'll wait till it, you know, it's like on game pass or something. I was going to play Redfall. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> you kidding me coming out of, of, of like a, 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 a triple a game coming out on Xbox been touted for, you know, a year and it comes out at freaking 30 FPS is really, are you kidding me? Get out of here with that stuff. Oh, I got to have an empty bucket. Dang it. Come here, Cal. We're not doing this. Um, we'll see what happens when Starfield comes out. I've, you know, I've, I've gotten disillusioned with the games this year. I, I've, I get, you know, that, oh, there's, see, there's Jairus over here. There's another bear. Ooh, he's a hurt bear. What was that? 
something attacked him. A wolf. He must not be a very high level bear. 16. Um. So yeah, uh. The games that got delayed for COVID, I get, but I think there's, if we're getting to a point where it's kind of getting ridiculous of all the games saying, well, you know, we're going to, we're going to come out and then we're not going to come out and then we're going to come out and then we're not going to come out. I don't know when some of them are going to come out. I, I'm really looking forward. Honestly, I've kind of got frustrated with ARC. I have a whole rant on that in my ARC video <laughs> on Olympus. So I won't bore you with that, but, um. I, uh, I'm really nervous about whether any of the games that are going to come out are going to live up to the hype that they've had. And I, I don't know that Starfield's going to, I hope it does. I, I really am interested in playing it. Um, but I'll play it on game pass before I'll buy it. I'm sure it'll come out for like 70 bucks and I'm not spending money on something that I, it's going to be horrible. I mean, there's the, the, the thing. And so here's what I, here's my rule of thumb. Now, if I buy a game or PC, I buy it on steam. If I, and I'll start playing it and I set a timer and I set the timer for an hour and 30 minutes. And if I'm not having fun in the first hour and a half of starting the game up, then I will refund it. Steam gives you, gives you two hours. As long as you play the game within the first two weeks and play less than two hours, if you want to refund it, you can get it refund for no questions asked refund hundred percent. And so if I get a game and I spend 60 bucks or 80 bucks on it, whatever it happens to be, and I get in it in an hour and a half, I'm frustrated and I can't make it work and it, I'm just going to get a refund and I'll wait till they fix the game. I'm not doing another cyberpunk fiasco to play a video game anymore. Just not doing it. It's not worth it to me at least. Um, but so I'm look, I, I'm looking at, at Starfield going, eh, might be great. Might not. Um, the games that I'm really looking forward to, what is your opinion about the art future? <laughs> let me, let me, yeah, let me get this out and I'll, and I'll give you my opinion about art. So, um, games I'm looking forward to this year, I'm looking forward to Nightingale. If you've not seen any trailers or looked at that, go take a look at the trailers. It looks amazing. And I, and if it actually does what it looks like it's going to do, that's going to be a lot of fun to play. And I hope I can find other people to play it with because it's a co-op game. So that, that'll be cool. There's a game called Derelicts that's done by a single dev that is a survival game, kind of like um, Forest. And it looks also amazing. And I'm looking forward to seeing that one. But the rest of them that I used to be looking forward to, I'm not so looking forward to it anymore. And Ark is one of them. I was down with Ark 2, man. When it came out, Vin Diesel on the T-Rex, I'm like, oh, yes, sign me up. Got in there, put it on my wish list. I'm like all in. Um, Yeah, exactly. Indie games are a whole lot better investment. Honestly, I will, I will 100% support you on that. Um. And, and honestly, that's probably what I would do if I wasn't doing this and doing some creator stuff and, you know, people want to see the, the new game. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep up with it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going crazy. Like I said, I'm, I'm on a pension. I'm not, it's like, I'm a millionaire. Um, but art, they, they screwed up when they said the, they were, well, they say they're going to put Arc 2 out. Okay, awesome. Then they say Arc 2 is delayed. Well, everything's delayed. So, okay, we got it. Give us a good game. That's all we care about. Then they come up with this stuff about we're going to make Arc 1 with Unreal Engine 5. And I'm like the rest of the community was like, eh, okay. Don't really care. Didn't ask for it, but you know, whatever. And then they say, well, we're going to make it free. And I'm like, all right, well, cool. They give me a better experience with the graphics and all cool i'll 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 be happy for that and it gives me a chance to see what arc 2 is going to look like 
Then they come in with this shenanigans around, well, we figured out that we can't offer it for free. It's going to be this much money, but we're going to bundle arc two with that. So you get, you get your, um, you get your arc upgrade. You'll have to pay for all the DLCs again, but you will get the arc upgrade and you'll get, uh, what another dinosaur or something like that. And, um, you'll get arc two whenever it's released in 2023 at the end of 2023. Right. And I said, Oh no, wait, slow down. One, you said it was going to be free and I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed, but I'm not, I'm not terribly pissed about that. I mean, I've bought arc the whole shebang several times. I bought it for me for PlayStation. I bought it for me for P for PC. I bought it for my son. I bought it for my son-in-law. I bought it for a few friends. I've given it away as giveaways. It's not like I'm afraid to spend money on art. It's a, I like the game. I don't mind spending money on something I like. And I would even, wouldn't even mind of them saying, okay, we can't do it for free, but here's, we're going to, we're going to give people who own it already a discount. And this is where we're going to go. But no, they come up with this thing of, we're going to bundle it with art too. And I said, hold on here. Now I get it. That's now going to cost me money. I don't like it, but I get it. But you're going to bundle it with Arc 2 when Arc 2 is not even going to come out. And you can't even show me any footage of Arc 2 until the end of the year, which means I'm buying the game, technically. Uh oh, the wolf. Um, I'm buying the game now, even though it's part of a, a double feature, but I'm still paying. I'm buying it now. And then you're going to give it to me in December. I can't see what it looks like. I have no idea whether it's going to be any good or not, but guess what? I will have paid for it in whatever August. And when I finally get arc two in my hands and it's a piece of crap and I go to steam and say, I don't want my money back. Steam's going to say, Oh no, you bought it in September. You're way outside the, the return policy. So, um, no, you're stuck with it. So they circumvented steam's return policy and they circumvented the game pass system, because, you know, people with game pass were supposed to get it for free when it launched. That's what the, you know, that was going to be on game pass day one, but now I've got to pay for it as part of a bundle deal. So, so that they screwed steam and Xbox people right from the start by saying they're giving you a deal. I, I, I don't like that kind of thing. Oh yeah, I said it was never going to happen when they said it when they released the first one. Anyway, Wildcard's never released anything on time. Um, but okay, so the, so the, so that's where I'm at. And then they come out with, oh well, sorry, we thought giving you something for free, quotation marks, um, air quote, whatever you want to call it, would be something that you would appreciate. But since that's not what you want, here's the new deal. Sorry, our bad. Like how condescending can you be? Um, we basically, we caught you doing something that you weren't supposed to do, but now you're going to make it look like the, the customer base is complaining. So that's why suddenly instead of having a bundle, that's got two things for one price, you're going to give us the DLC, which we already own for a higher price and not include art two, which I'm good with. Cause who knows if art two will ever come out. Um, I mean, that's pushed back till 2024 with some, uh, stuff out there that even says 2025, uh, whether they can call that a, a miss typo, whatever you want to call it. I, I, you know, whatever you can tell me that, but it seems awful, um, specific when they say end of year or whatever date in 2025, <laughs> instead of just a typo, but whatever, yeah, save face however you want to. I don't know that arc two will ever come out. Honestly, I will it ever, who knows? Um, if they go and get the EU five version ascendant out and they start making money with it and they realize they've already said that there are people in their current player base that are not going to like arc two because of the soul space, um, fighting and the third person only view and all that crap. Um, so are they really? targeting arc two at the current arc player base. I don't know that they ever were. And if they were probably not anymore. Um, 
So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not excited about Arc Two. I've told people that um, the for the OG servers that I run on Arc, I'm going to run Arc um, Evolved servers as long as I can do it, as long as I can, you know, make it work. And I have no idea how long Wildcard will do anything with Arc One or the OG Arc once they finally release. Ascendant, which now, I mean, how they, they've not even read, they have not shown us any footage on Ascendant yet. And it's supposed to release in August. Uh, that seems a little dubious, but you know, whatever, but I am not going to jump into running servers on Ascendant. And I, I, I can promise you this. If I have to run, <coughs> If the only way I can run a modded server on Arc Ascendant is to force the people that are playing on my servers to one, have the whatever, what is it called? I, I keep wanting to call it Void, void Forge, but whatever the heck this, this server thing is, it already doesn't work on Minecraft. It's a freaking bloatware memory hog. Um, that's going to be the people that choose to manage the mods. And, um, we're going to charge you for the mods. I have no problem. Again, money, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not made out of money, but I don't have any problem saying that people that make the mods deserve something. But my ARC servers run 20 plus mods. I'm not going to force the people that play on the OG servers to fork up, let's just say it's a dollar a mod. $25, $30 just to see if it'll run on their computer. And if they like the mod, not doing it. So I'll continue to have arc servers on the OG, uh, server list. And by the way, go to discord. The link is in the description. If you want to play arc on our servers, come on out. It's PVE. Um, they're modified. They're they're They are modded. The rates are boosted. Uh, information is in the discord channel on how to get on there. Uh, uh, but, oh yeah, sort out. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Um, and, uh, come on out and play, but I just, I, 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 this sounds, I don't know if it sounds corny or not. I, I have been hosting servers for good Lord, 10 years. I do it because I like to have a place for people to go play and have fun. I don't do it to make money. I don't do it to cost people more money. In fact, I I've rarely even run servers that require people to have paid DLC. Now I have recently because of the, the community wanted to have a SIPTA server on Conan. I've added a SIPTA server, which is additional paid DLC. It's really it's been a long time. since I've had anything that's paid DLC on any of my servers. I'm currently working on, I'll start up a new server that's unmodded, completely unmodded for ARC. And I've put the list of the different maps out there for the community vote on as to which map it'll be. And if it ends up being a paid DLC, it's because they asked for it. It's not because I, because I, I mean, people got enough problems now. They don't need to be spent. Oh, wow. A 40 bear. Ooh. Okay. I, I got to go back and get some honey. Where I really start coming over here and looking for stuff. I'm just making myself in feeling bad. <laughs> I don't have any money. Um, well, at least we know high level bears are over here. Okay. So, but yeah, I, I, I'm going to support the evolve servers as long as I can. Um, and, and as long as they'll work. Um, and if that doesn't go, you know, if that's not very long, then it'll be what it'll be. I, like I said, I'm not going to put a position. I'm not going to put servers out there that make people pay a lot more money to even be able to play. That's just dirty pool to me. Um, especially when depending on people's PCs, whether they can even run the mods. I mean, that's why I'm going to do an unmodded map is because I've had some people that are playing on the servers that can't load all the, the, the mods on to get the game to run. So we'll, we'll do that. And if you're interested in playing, come on out, join the discord. I make, I go take it to the discord, not because I want to charge for it, but because that's really the way I can see how many people are playing. 
mean, I can go look at the statistics of the servers, but to get an idea real time of how many people are actually playing on those servers so that I make sure I have enough slots there for people to not sit in queues to try to play. <coughs> I just have it set for passwords through the discord. That way I keep track of that, but this doesn't cost you anything to go play. And if you, I do have a donation station on, uh, on the discord, I, you know, or super thanks in here, all that stuff goes to paying for the rental for the servers to help out with it. But I mean, like I said, I've been running servers for a long time just because I like to do that for people. It's fun for me to have people be able to go out and play games and have fun. Um, so that's just, that's just kind of my two cents on that. Uh, the fact he spent all resources on Arc Ascendant makes me doubt if Arc 2 will be worth it because they say it's going to be like people will have moved on to other. I think that, that there's going to be some truth to that. I think there are a lot of people that are really frustrated with the situation. There's people that are playing on the official maps, PVE and PVP, that are going to lose everything they've been working for. I mean, working on since 2018. Uh, you know, generations lines of breeding on some of these dinos to get colors mutations that they they've you know kind of brag about they're all going away big huge bases that people spent weeks days months building just gonna be gone um and people are you know i think rightly pissed off about that so they're gonna lose some people just because of that will they come back because Ascendant is just so gorgeous. Uh, that's asking a lot. Um, especially when they have to repurchase it. That is a tiger. I don't know how big of a tiger it is, but it won't knock me off my mount if I can kill it. Let's see what it is. Then at least I'll know what kind of tigers we've got over here. Uh, stamina. Make sure you got stamina. Get ready. Here we comes. Oh, 116. Holy crap. Oh no. This is a fight I shouldn't have picked. Oh crap. If he starts bleeding me, I'm going to be in trouble. Ah. Good thing I got my monkey. Slow him down, monkey. Slow him down. If I had some prime meat, I could aim that sucker, but that would take a long time. Ha. Dead tiger. Okay. So we got high level tigers and high level bears over here. We're coming back over here. Uh, in the next video and we're gonna we're gonna tame us some some carnivores i'll get on discord excited later today i'll get to a little bit six over here yeah well thank you so much for coming i'm gonna kind of wrap things up it is after midnight i usually try to shut down around midnight here so that nana may can get some sleep <laughs> my uh my wife is uh very very um supportive of me in this whole process and i really appreciate the fact that she's willing to let me do this stuff but you know she does like to go to bed at some point and i get kind of loud sometimes um but yeah thank you so much for coming out here if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like um let people know about me if you've uh, got a group of people that you play games with and they've never heard about me send them over here give them to take a look at the videos uh, you know leave a like leave a comment if you like the stuff subscribe i don't beg for people to subscribe just because if you're subscribing, but you're not watching, then, you know, it's, it's a nice thing to have, but it really doesn't help with my, uh, channel with the algorithm. What helps is people watching the videos and a lot of people do. So I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, come on out. If you want to join our servers on the discord, follow the link, go take a look at that. And, uh, Hey, we've got some great people out there. They're all PVE servers. And everybody's very helpful and willing to help each other out. Um, so if you're the kind of person that just likes to be disruptive, yeah, find somewhere else. There's other places <laughs> you can go. Um, I don't need that kind of crap. But um, if you just want to have a good time and relax and, and have people that are supportive and they'll help you out when you want it. And if you want to be left alone, we'll do that too. Then come on out and play with us. Um, I get on the servers every once in a while. I try. I haven't been on Conan for a while yet, so I have to get back out there, but I was, I am on Arc occasionally. Oh crap. Oh, that's the cow. Um, <clears throat> so would be glad to see you out there and, um, yeah. Uh, I'm running out.
have my voice here, but it, so it's, it is time for me to kind of end this thing. So we'll ride, um, Nacho Libre over here to the boat, head back over to the, uh, the base. And in the next video, we'll come out and we'll, um, we'll tame some, some carnivores. That would be cool. We, we, we need those for treasure hunting. That's for sure. If I can get a male and female bear, then we'll have some, uh, some map getting tools. All right. Well, thank you again so much for coming out, watching the video. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the support everyone has given me. Uh, and you know, y'all be good to each other. <laughs> all right. Y'all take care. Stay well. And until next time, this is Julie signing out.